Yeah. God, I gotta open roll twenty. Oh yeah, fuck. Yeah. Me too. Yes, yes, you should have you should have all opened roll twenty. Hello! Hello chat! I'm Hello Thank you, him. Cosmo Parallax, for the follow. Uh hello, we are gonna get started in just a moment. Um so um we do have a very special guest joining us uh today. Uh Lady V, uh Victor, um however you wish to be addressed. Uh why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the players while I set up your uh Discord reactive image. Yeah, uh, Lady V is great. Um, I've been playing games with KB for a really long time. Um, I've known KB for years, so I'm, you know, very interested to say the least um, to just have a little sneak peek into this game because I know that all the games that KB runs are stellar. Um, you guys are already too much for me already, so I'm very <laughs> excited. Um, <laughs> oh, you've seen nothing so far. Yeah, so get ready for sarcasm and my uh, too muchness also i guess i can be too much at times so hey, if it helps like, like i don't know i don't know how many times you've seen me and and Lux play rosie and alistair like in the same scene uh for <laughs> long periods of time yeah i have actually it, tuned into that at times yes don't mm -hmm. don't worry whatsoever you are among uh fellow chuckle fucks and okay, great. <laughs> we, will, we will. We are heavily going to enable all forms of chuckle fuckery. Alistair is technically in a maid outfit right now, so I love. It. Yep. This oh, I'm in a doggo maid outfit. Doggo. Yeah. Yeah. Maid outfit. Oh, like, like, oh, okay. Yeah, you know, specifically that's like, cat girl and cat boy maid. That's something I, I should probably ask. Play D &D mostly. Uh, that, I D that, I DM okay. you about it, Viv. That's. No, no, I didn't. I don't think I. Uh, yeah, I know you. You have man red. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, but like, I we we should like talk about what the fuck happened last time because I was not here and I haven't had time to watch the bottom. Sorry. Well, what do you like yeah. to know? It's gonna be a complete <laughs> mystery for you, actually. Oh. <laughs> no, okay. No, we we will do the recap. <laughs> we will do the recap. Um. In, Can uh, I tell the recap? I guess Yes, uh, Zed, go ahead and uh, give the recap, and then I will correct the recap if needed. <laughs> I feel like you might need to. How presumptuous, KV. <laughs> okay, okay, so... Captain's permission to gaslight us all? This is gonna go well. Okay, so last session, there was this um, uh, short um, priestess lady that's friends with Willow, and we're trying to... Uh, her like cult uh declared war on this vampire dude kind of like ah. unpresumptuously like really like but i'm going i'm long for the ride because i got to dress up as a doggo maid and be the be the priestess's uh little pet and get head pets so like i'm totally down for it okay um, and then now we're like storming um the castle we took out like the archers and uh i tried to like uh hold my breath until i passed out so that they would, like, um, give me attention so Willow and the rat could sneak in. Um, ah. But I cast, like, Fog Cloud and alerted them, so I thought it was going to be a good idea. <laughs> um, and then we, we defeated all of them, and then I Dimension Doored away <laughs> to, well, to man the cannons. That didn't, that didn't actually happen because you, were, you, you did that when you said you were going to miss the next session. But yes, um, but I got delayed. Still, I think it should still happen because I have plans. Ooh. I mean, you'll have a hard time. You won't be able to participate in the combat if you're. If, 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 I'm gonna blow up there. the gate and then march the cannons in. Oh. <laughs> so we oh, have them no. in the vampire fight. <laughs> Close All range right. artillery combat. Okay, so All right. let me just so, like double check. So we're fighting vampires. No, or are we're we, fighting a demon. We're going monster. to. We're on a way right. to let fight me, vampires. Let me let me give the actual real uh real recap. All right. Yeah. Maybe please right. set the story straight. All right. Uh, well, first, that's exactly what happened. I mean, I think you did a great. Thank you. None of the things <laughs> you said were lies. However. <laughs> uh, however. <laughs> either it was a big thing yeah all right so uh let, let let's let's go back let's go back in time a little bit um 
after having uh, recovered the treasures of the vault of King Midas, our heroes, uh, resting in the city of Lysita, Willow, reconnected with members of the Radiant Blades, the Apollo-worshipping uh, paladins, paladin order that she was once a member of, With a mountain of gold and knowledge of a vampire that she has a personal grievance against, she funded the construction of an army made up of radiant blades, volunteers, and hired mercenaries. Your army set sail from Lysita on rented ships to go south, going around the Duchy of Marity. Um, and landing south of Ebonmore. From there, the army marched until they reached the castle Holbeck, seat of power of Baron Zacharias von Holbeck, the, uh, the, the very vampire which bit Willow, giving her Ooh. the curse of vampirism. I see. Now... While the army does battle with the soldiers loyal to Zacharias and an army of summoned demons, the party uh, launched an attack on the walls of the castle with some shenanigans in the form of uh, uh, these maid outfits and uh, as a distraction. Uh, Willow climbed up the walls while being made invisible by Rosie's illusion spell um, and uh, launched the attack from inside. After uh, two hours of combat, <laughs> the, oh my God. Uh, the party managed to take the walls and hold them. As we ended last session, the doors into the courtyard from deep from the castle keep opened and a a woman an Arrhenius Willow identified a, de a devil woman six foot tall clad in black plate mail bikini uh, with yes. massive black wings dripping blood uh, and, a, and a massive sword dripping mercury when you said Sorry. massive, I thought you were going to go on to say something else. Oh my god. <laughs> and huge if only we'd be so land. lucky. <laughs> uh, oh, I was thinking about something else. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, Anyways. Her blade is very long. It's a, bla it's a sword. So It is her sword. What exactly is her big about. natural sword? Mm -hmm. so, so what yes. exactly was Rhea doing during all of this? So, Nothing. Rhea, you... You, you, were man you were manning the cannons, and the players had the ability to call upon you to make certain cannon shots uh, three times in the session, uh, which they did exactly zero times, I believe. Because um, yeah. limited resources is it. the biggest illusion of choice you can give players. My god. <laughs> no, no, right. we're sa we were saving them. It's like, you know when you get like an elixir in Pokemon, and you go like, this will be useful. One day, and you'll never use it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's much. like all of the potions that you've had since the start of the game, and you're literally on the final boss fight, there's nothing you're going to use them for, and you're like, but I still need to save it. I like having it take up space in my inventory. <laughs> Look, I can't just buy elixirs, I can only find them, I've only got one. <laughs> <laughs> Elixir? I barely know her. Oh my god! Ugh. Uh, I missed those. Hey. Of course. Hey. Also, what I, I I also just really do not like that you're Doctor Corone now. Yes, I am Doctor Doctor Corone. <laughs> oh my God. Dog made. It was it was their it, that was their uh their their false identity for the uh, distraction. They pretended to be Doctor Corone, they... dog dog made doctor. Um, of course. Of course. Um, Doctor Corone. I mean, it, Plot maybe has complete uh, diplomatic immunity in Lysita. We don't know. It's yeah. scary. We don't want to think about it. Too hard. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Uh, oh, I sh I should. I, I am should technically get a diplomat I should get now. The music going. Uh, yeah, you oh, should. Yeah. Uh, also, get in the orb. <laughs> oh, did, did somebody redeem uh, an orb moment? Yeah, his name's right. me. I so, did. It. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's basically yeah. everything I said. Okay. I, I think I've got enough of the idea to handle it. But, uh, yeah. That is a lot. So now, now, <laughs> are, now Viv is in the castle? Right. Uh, how, the... Yeah, I, that, was, that was my next question. I was gonna ask, how do I end up part of all this? I shoved you through a dimension. I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna <laughs> run and show up. Yeah. All right. So yes, uh, as the Devil Woman steps out, uh, Doctor Corone Dogmaid uh, opens a portal and uh, hops through it, um, saying, "I must be faithful." Yes. <laughs> um. Uh, Rhea, a yeah. back at the cannons, a portal opens up behind you. Uh, ah! Kef drop, jumps out and then pushes you through, uh, taking, saying something about, uh, don't worry, I, I studied, uh, ballistic trajectories. Uh, and... Uh, the, the... I made it myself. <laughs> uh -huh. No! I, I invented them. Uh, I invented <laughs> the equations I this. <laughs> for, uh... <laughs> I, I'm um, not sure that I trust you, Dr. Dr. Dogmaid. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put my finger to your lip and say shh and push you into the board. Shh, these cannons have always been mine. Shh. Fine. Wow. God fucking damn it. I can't believe I just got shushed into a portal. Stay away from my cannons. Shh. Oh, me... All right. Let me get in my orb. Uh, 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 effects. That orb moment. Okay. Okay. There we go. Um. Meanwhile, as, uh, Rhea, as you stumble out of this portal, you find yourself, um, standing on a wall next to a horse, uh, rid, uh, bubbles ridden by Alistair, um, uh, and Bublish, uh, who is floating there. You take survey of the situation, you see the party is somewhat scattered, and a powerful devil is stepping forward to join the fight. You know that you must uh, give aid to your companions. But you also what see... What on earth has been happening over here? Why didn't you tell me to point the cannons this way? <laughs> you also see a woman emerging from the shadow itself. Oh. A vampire. Lady V. What do you do to let them know that you're on their side? Um, I go over there and I say, hey, I'm on your side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I say, oh, shit. Boy, <laughs> someone, like that. someone tell me to aim the cannons. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I'm on your side. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I suppose it will be self-evident once you teleport behind the uh, uh, the devil woman and punch her, you know, five times. Yeah, I attack the bad guys and help. <laughs> All right. So with that, it will be time for initiative. Uh, All right. We'll begin oh. the battle with. Oh. Ooh. Some metal. I my character sheet. Yeah, they're kind of oh, important. I would like to listen to you, but. Cool. All right, here yeah. comes mine. Oh hell yeah! Uh, I'm prepared apparently. I am not. Uh, oh my I'm... god, you're really not. <laughs> I'm neutral. I'm ambivalent to this. Ambivalent. These are the only toys we're gonna get the entire night. Uh -huh. <laughs> I gotta roll for Bublish. Bublish! Rosie, uh, please roll for your, your faithful steed, Bubbles, as well. Just did. Oh, it didn't, he didn't add in. Great. Alright. I got him. Roll the five. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Is everybody in initiative now? Uh, it looks like I'm missing yeah. Willow. Uh, no. I got 20. Hold on, let me add one. 21. 
one. Alright. Lady V. The battle is taking place at night. It is... It is... All... The whole place is dark. Uh, is dim light. Uh... You are... The shadows are with you. In order to accomplish your objective, you're going to need to get inside. And the castle is defended. You have decided that the best way to accomplish your objective is by aiding... Uh, aiding these pirates in their attack. <coughs> pirates? <laughs> I believe the proper uh, term is... is uh... am, I, am I able to make a tactics check? Absolutely. Oh my god, she does play KB's games. She do. She, rem she remembers tactics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just one brownie points. Um, <laughs> now I'm gonna lose some. What button do I press to do that? <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't know that either. <laughs> that would be that will be your uh, intelligence. Uh, it's the, click the word intelligence know... on the um, okay. on the left. Yeah, you did it. Do I um, know things? Uh, yes, that will be enough to know things. Uh, all right. So uh, you were looking at an Arrhenius, a type of fiend. Uh, you may ask, with a tactics check, you may ask her hit points, uh, her saving throw proficiencies, her damage resistances, her damage immunities, um, her supernatural senses. Um, she has the following traits, hellish weapons, and magic resistance. Uh, she has a reaction called parry and she has a multi-attack uh, that you can look at she's not a very complicated opponent hello right, guys but... uh, I'm being called uh, I'm probably gonna have to be mute for a while okay. Um, yeah okay okay I'll I'll handle it if if your turn comes up all right so, Lady V, what uh, what feature of the Arrhenius would you like to identify from that list? Points. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Hit points. Hit points. Oh, yeah. Good. I want to see choice. how. Yeah, how what I'm dealing with. All right. All right. Oh, so oh, great you heavens. should now be able. You should now be able to see. She has, um, she's at max hit points right now, and, uh, she has 153 of them to go okay. through. Okay. She is not squishy. Can't no. knock her over like a glass of water. Alright. Alright, All right. Lady V, what would you like to do? Um, so... I know you guys aren't part of, like, the typical, like, skis sessions, so usually what I do is ask everybody else what I should do. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm thinking is I'm going to sneak up on this thing in the shadows because that's what I'm good at. Uh, maybe hit it or stab it and then, uh, like, disengage or something, but I'm not really sure if that's the plan. So that, I mean, if you have Do you have any ranged that, attacks? I have a uh, crossbow. It's not, I, it's not as good as my melee. I'm what? saying it's probably not. It's probably too far away to sneak up to it unless you've got like hella movement. I've got some movement. Huh? Okay. Do I have all my key, KB? Oh yes. Uh, yeah. Let, let's go ahead and give your character sheet a long rest. You should be at okay. uh, all key. topped off. Uh, but you won't have your temp HP because uh, Fila's not here to give you an inspiring okay. speech. Okay. We're not Fila. Um, <laughs> right, right. Uh, Alias. The, uh, yeah, yeah, Alias. Yeah. Same player, different, different character. Um, yeah. yeah. So you don't have the, you don't have your normal temp HP. But yeah. Uh, so um, you could, um, you could just m run up and shoot it with a crossbow bolt. Um, with as a shadow monk, let's see. You could move to like here and then. 
Shadow teleport. Thir Thirty I'm still feet. Pretty far. Nah. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna get close enough to it this turn. Um, you might consider. Uh, oh wait, you could because you're with your rogue uh, dash. No, because that's that's also a bonus action. Um, oh, so yeah. I guess for the sake of like you know character development and everything, little Rosie mm -hmm. right there is is friend, right? Yes. <laughs> Rosie okay. Is yes. Very good. Okay, so I'll I'll go up next to Rosie start shooting at this ugly fiend looking thing and say hey babe you want to fill me in on what's going on <laughs> oh my goodness all right that is, that is perfect in character unfortunately uh rosie's player is pan who has stepped away for a moment oh i, uh, yeah. I can fill in okay uh, rat screeching noises uh, surprise no, and no, fright. I, I have more right to fill in what Rosie would do than you. Sit down. Yeah. I want yeah. rat right. All right. I want rat All right. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and click your 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 light crossbow. Okay. I think Rosie would just be like, uh, something, something. We're trying to take down that uh, fiend lady. All right. Uh, all right. Sixteen. Yeah, your your cro cool. sixteen. Your crossbow bolt uh, bounces off. Uh, the the fiend's okay. armor. Oh shit! Uh, oh, she's cool. She's sick. Oh, she got AC. Okay. She got big natural. <laughs> and I believe that's uh, all I can do. Natural AC. Uh, actually, you can because there is a uh like there's like a little wall here, and you are a rogue. You can bonus action hide. Oh. For free, for no. You? Bon yeah, yeah, bonus action hunt because you're yeah. multi class in the rogue now. So, Bet. That's uh, sick. just roll That's stealth. Sick. Okay. I thought you said it was for free. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a bonus action, but it doesn't yeah, well, cost you any basically, resources. Stealth is All right. Pretty the, good. Yeah. Uh, the Arrhenius does not know where that crossbow bolt came from. <laughs> All right. Rhea Ionia, Silverlight, the wind of change. So I've got a question. Um, yeah. I noticed I have a spell on my sheet that um, I I put it on there, but I didn't get the spell components for it. So is it possible that like I could just say minus 400 gold pieces right now and just, you know, I, I got it last session before the fight? <laughs> because you missed uh, last session, uh, yes, I will. <laughs> and that was the uh, the first session of the okay, new campaign. I'll, I'll that, that's my gold that. pieces now. I'm, okay. I'm it's not like you couldn't have afforded to have done it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay, one moment. I'm just going to remove that from my gold. I'm just going to... Okay, so. The spell that I'm going to cast... Um, Let me just double check. Oh yeah, 90 feet. Okay, so... I can put it... Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, I can put it like all the way close to her, and I think I'm going to. So I'm I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm I'm going to cast Summon Construct. Okay. Uh, which which one? Let's see. Let's see. What do I feel like? I think. I think metal. All right. Let me get. Let me get your Reggie seal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what noise does Reggie still make? On on on. Does the un un un. <laughs> un, un, un. Whoa, it's big. <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> I, 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 no, we should. Uh, what size? What size is it supposed to be? I, I assume oh, is it uh, actually, a large uh, let me, or? Let me find its thing. Oh fuck! Do I have the? I had the table for it at one point. I'm so disorganized. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I'll just uh, summon construct. D and D wiki yes. has got. It's got me. Uh, medium construct. Okay. Medium. Uh, All right. And let me just make this controlled by uh, Vivian. Okay. Um, and how many hit points is it supposed to have? <clears throat> Uh, let 55? me double check. That sounds about right. 
Because it, it's got, um... Oh, gosh. I really wish that I read the, wrote down the freaking, um, like, stat block for it. Where did I... I know I had that somewhere. I'm so sorry. Alright. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't, uh, set one up in Roll20 beforehand. I no, it's okay, it's okay. Do that. But I'll link you the spell description in, All right. uh, Midas General. Thank you. So you can get it there. Okay, so where um, you should be able to play, move the token and place it anywhere you want. Where are you going to summon it? I was putting it right here, very close. Okay. Uh, you can put it within 90 feet, so that yep. should be fine. And that's going to be drawing our, her aggro and all that. Let me check this thing's attacks real quick. Um, all right, so... Oh, it can, it can, it doesn't have range attacks, so that's okay. But, oh, yeah, if it's, if it's a metal one, it burns. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Although it's a demon, so it's probably not going to do much. God damn it, I picked the wrong one. Anyway, whatever. Uh, yeah, this thing is just going to make a big noise and just stomp on the ground and just draw aggro. That's basically all it is. It, it can't get, uh, wait, can it, oh, no, it can move. I'm dumb. Yeah, it takes its turn immediately after you. Uh, it's got a okay. speed of 30 feet. Hell yes. Then it is going to just uh, run right in and go slam. I, If I remember correctly, I did put the slam. Oh, I didn't. I thought I put that on the the sheet for Rhea, but nah. All right. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll it just uses in. your spell attack modifier. So you can just, if you have any spell attacks um, in your character sheet, you can just roll them. Oh, yeah. Uh pretty sure I don't have a generic spell attack. I should just do that for some reason. But okay, whatever. Yeah, just click Here, just and grasp. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, 25 to hit. To hit. Uh, yeah, so okay. it does a d8 plus 4 plus, plus the spell's plus level. So d8 four. plus 8. Baby. Yeah. Can this construct attack be renamed? Welcome to the Space Jam. Welcome to the Slam. No. <laughs> no. All right. I, would, I I would allow it, but it is not my decision to make. All right. All right. So it also takes a D10 of fire damage because I was um, hitting it with a melee attack. Congratulations! So I, you have learned something. It is immune to fire damage. Thought so. Well, okay. Yeah. I've got my cool robot. I'm happy. I'm good. <laughs> Turn over. <laughs> I have right. MZ. All right, Willow. <clears throat> okay, so cannons, right? Everybody agrees mm -hmm. we should probably use cannons, even though the concert's there now. Yeah, yeah. you can shoot it. It's 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 there to take damage. <laughs> it's no publish. I mean, publish is critical. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna send in Bublish right now. <laughs> oh, did Bublish roll? You, you take care of it. Yeah. Bublish is an initiative, don't worry. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Um, okay, so we signal for the cannons to fire. <clears throat> Alright, uh, the cannons are just because, um, because Zed wanted to swap places with Rhea, I was just gonna let Zed handle the cannons on, uh, on their turn. Ah! If that's all right. I ignore your request. <laughs> <laughs> you see me kind of squint and not make out what you can say. So far away. That's the most Seth thing. <laughs> it is. But yeah, Kef will be picking targets for the cannon on on their turn. So uh, Willow is free to, to act otherwise. You do um, have a baluster next to you. Yeah, I... And, uh, also, you are... Uh, I, I'm righted you, out, you, I have plus 10 strength. Right, right. You still have Peerless Athlete, so you can still, uh, do crazy climbing shenanigans. I can wield the belt, I can wield right. it like a gun. Alright, sorry about that. I am back now. Alright. Awesome, welcome back. 
The only yeah. thing we missed was was Lady V uh, yeah, talking Lady to Rosie and asking what the ha what's happening. <laughs> oh, just uh, you know, vamp, just uh, you know, killed some people, and now this demon lady's showing up. You know the works. <laughs> Oh, hey, vampire lady, I never Oh, shit, yeah. hi, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she did shoot a uh, crossbow bolt at the devil lady. Um, Got it. Uh, so she seems to be friendly. All right. It's a trap. It's a ploy. Hey, some vampire and vampire violence. I can respect on, that. On the same, we have the same enemy. Yes. No, I mean, she was very upfront about how she's, like, totally not one the of them, so, like, I'm more inclined to believe that. <laughs> mm. Okay, so, I manhandle one of the ballots is over to aim it at uh, the demoness. Uh, just grab it and move it all by myself. Oh, okay, yes. Um, excellent, you... You pick up one of these ballista bolt, uh, ballistas <laughs> with your uh, plus 10 athletics right now. Uh, oh my god. And, and um, you now have a ballista pointed <laughs> uh, at the Arrhenius. Holy uh, shit, it, that's it amazing. Is, it, it is loaded. Uh, would you like to fire it? I would. All right, <laughs> make a uh, roll dexterity and proficiency. Oh, Shit! <laughs> yeah, oh <my> instantly. <laughs> oh my god! Willow's just killing a bitch. Willow is out for one. I remove the bolt and I put myself in its place to shoot. Fire <laughs> <it. laughs> <laughs> <I> myself. <laughs> I blow a hole in Mars. That is me. <laughs> I'm the ammo. <laughs> I am the gun! Hold on. Alright. Lily, you can't just bullshit. Okay. Using your own so, uh, you're gonna roll, uh, please roll, um, because you crit, <clears throat> 6d10. Um, yeah, please roll 6d10. Oh my god! Yeah! Well, this is, you know, going to Ghost Marsh and everything, like 3d10. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um. Six. That. Wait. That, that, <laughs> that, did, that did not. That did not roll correctly. Uh, please roll. Wait. Uh, <laughs> like. Oh my god. Like this. Uh, oh. Like that. Oh. Okay. Oh god. I was about to be six critical fails. <laughs> oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> the most potent six damage you've ever had. Okay. Thirty-one. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. You have learned uh, something else about the Arrhenius. Uh, she is resistant to damage from non-magical weapons, such as this ballista bolt. Oh. Okay. So she only takes. Hey, but we did takes... above max damage. The ballista yeah, can honestly. normally do. Honestly, that's fucking awesome. Uh, but she loses 15 hit points as a um as this ballist as Willow like just hefts up this ballista bolt or this whole like ballista, <clears throat> this whole siege weapon turns it around, uh, just channeling the strength of Apollo, and then fires the bolt. Uh, this cocks like a bolt this, action rifle. Yeah, and, and this and this uh, ballista bolt uh, strikes her black armor and shatters, sending splinters everywhere. Um, but she just stands through it. <clears throat> Some of the splinters like tink off the construct's body, and, and then it just goes on, on, on. All right. Okay, thank you for saying that. Because I was wondering, like, what the. F Fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I realize oh, it's a red steel. It is. <laughs> it's All my right. metal boy. Uh, Willow, uh, would you like to do any that? Would you like to move any, or are you gonna end your turn there? Uh, I'm comfortable. Yeah. 
You want to reload? All right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, right. so uh, re reloading a uh, a ballista takes um, uh, it takes an action to load it, an action to aim it, and an action to fire it. So uh, it normally is manned by a team of three people in order to do it every round. Um, so uh, that's what was already loaded. God. <laughs> okay, oh, no. but, but there's still another take ballista it. right behind you. <laughs> There are two. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, but it will it will still take an action to to reload. So, um, yeah. So, you you can't reload. Hear me out. Way. Hear me out, Willow. Next time, you just chuck the the bolt like a fucking javelin. <laughs> Arpoon. Arpoon. All right, Rosie. Rosie, it is now your turn. It's now, Let me see. Let me see what's going time. on with the rat. Let me see what's going on with the rat right now. How far away? Can I do? Hmm. Let me let me see this. Let me let me let me consider. Let me just consider some movement here. Oh. oh. All right. Actually, I'm going to do uh, a uh, do a quick little um. Uh, tactics. That's the skill. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. I forgot. I forgot tactics. Tactics. All right. All right. <sighs> hey, yeah. All right. I know That's what sufficient. conditions they're immune to. Uh, she is immune to the poisoned condition. All right. Cool. Thankfully, not related to what I wanted to do. <clears throat> so, what I am going to try and do. Let me see. Yeah, okay. I'm going to cast uh, this funny little spell. Uh, Nathlar's Mischief. I've never heard of this spell. It is a Fizban spell. Okay, then. Uh, okay, you fill a 20 foot cube you can see within range with Fey and Draconic Magic. Roll in the mischievous surge table to determine the magical effect produced. And oh, shit. At the start of each of your turns until the spell ends. Okay. Oh, that sounds so fun! Cube 10 feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to oh, center the cube so right right where the aneurys is, which is exactly 60 feet away. Oh! All right. Our poor Reggie Steele. Hey, I don't think he could be charmed. No, he can't. Let me let me look at the let me look at the stat block just to make sure. Yeah, uh, charmed, exhaustion, frightened, incapacitated, paralyzed, petrified, or poisoned. That's immune to all of that. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Blinded. Oh shit! I, so... I, no, not blinded. Oh, let's hope he doesn't roll check. twos. Oh no. <laughs> so do they roll for it when they enter or at the start of a turn? I see. Let's try by cube when you see. Range, roll the oh, a search table to determine ah. the school effect. Well, again, each of your turns. Alright, so each one will have the saving throw, but I'll roll the d4. Okay. Three. So, if anyone fails my dc12 uh, wisdom saving throw, each creature in the cube must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or begin giggling until the start of your next turn. A giggling creature is incapacitated and uses all all its movement to move in a random direction. Okay. Renius <clears throat> rolls a 12. Just 12. Ah. Okay, um, so, uh... Does my metal strikes, boy need to do that? Because it's not like a... a charm. Okay, okay. That counts as charmed. Because so it didn't say the word charmed, so I'm like, oh shit, can this thing start giggling? <laughs> Is it gonna start going? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm, All right. I'm very confused that it doesn't specify that, it, that they are charmed or or that there is I, anything related to that. Yeah. Um, 
this this spell looks unfinished. Uh, to hey, me. this was copy okay. pasted from. No, this band. no, I'm not. I'm I'm already looking at the I'm looking at the official version of it when, mm -hmm. I, when I say it. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, each creature must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or begin giggling. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Metal Boy, make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. What is this boy's wisdom? Let's take a look. Probably not high. Plus zero. Yep. Hey, at least Rosie just... doesn't have a high DC. Alright, here comes that raw d20. All no! Right. <laughs> Can't stand right. the Viv on. And we're moving to a random direction, so roll D4 to see which direction it's gonna go. Oh boy! No. Three. So north. Is that... Oh north! It can't go north though. What yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like one. Is wait, north. this is good actually. If it goes north, it... oh wait, no, fire damage is immune. No, no, no. So let me. <laughs> I'm just gonna check it. Uh... Infestation. Infestation okay. 5 E, and I'll go off of what that says for directions. Uh, so that would be east. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I thought you said weast. Weast. I stump the metal boy just starts stumbling over and laughing, <laughs> glitching the fuck out. Ray's just like, what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> Rose is like, I don't know, I was trying to make the demon laugh, I think. <laughs> uh, you, you made my metal boy laugh! Yeah, no, I seen him made your metal boy laugh. <laughs> what, what? Oh my goodness. Maybe you bought a spell, you ever think of that? Casualty of wars. Oh, Alright. And... Alright, so metal boy will be incapacitated on his turn. Oh, fuck. And, uh, you know, never hurts to have the hide, at, hide bonus action. Alright, roll your stealth. Just, you know, as a treat. Uh, she knows where you are. Cool. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Bublish. Bublish! Uh, Bublish! Bublish. Let's see. He's got a 30 foot fly speed. He's going to fly 30 feet closer. Uh, his rays have a 90 foot reach, so he can easily target her. Um, also, I'm going to be that person. Uh, mm -hmm. If you look at Chad, a bunch of things were redeemed. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, yes. Lora's Angel, glow, a blue glow, <laughs> and chromatic aberration. Okay, I will, I will fix that as soon as I finish taking. Bublish's turn. Yes. Uh, thank you for letting me know. I just, I have so many things. Uh, so he's going to fire his Wounding Ray and his Confusion Ray. Very good combination, Bublish. Uh, I like it. First, Let's go. first I will oh roll my Con save for the Wounding Ray. I will succeed, but I will still take half damage. So that will be six damage. And then, uh, Confusion Ray is a wisdom saving throw. Oh. <laughs> 26. She is the not confused. duality. Oh, oh no. All right. Uh, that is Bublish's turn. Let me remove his dodging mark. Uh, and now it will be Alistair's turn while I uh, set up all of the redeems that have been redeemed. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. I think you should kill her. Yeah, kill her. <laughs> that's a, that's a, probably a good strategy. <clears throat> yeah, um, oh, unfortunately a lot of my spells are centered around crowd control, so it's kind of... <laughs> yeah. Um... Hmm... Um, does she have condition I look immunity? so cool right now. Uh, we found out it was only poison. was the only condition immunity. Okay. Thank you, Silver cool. Frog. I look so cool right now. I didn't know if I needed. Hey, you can always do a text check if you want any other questions. Um... 
I don't think I have any other questions. Um... Do I want to ask him to do? Actually, no. I... I will. I'm gonna cast, um, Old Footsteps. Ooh! Oh. Are Wait. you sure about that? Wait, yeah. Are you sure about that? I think that I'm only affects sure humanoids. She's a demon. Uh, well, no, she's a fiend. Does she count I'm as a, a humanoid? Oh, yeah. I, I'm you... pretty sure. Wait, no, 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 wait. I'm because I remember. I thought at some point we had this discussion uh, after Alistair became a fiend, but maybe is it because she's at like an extra? Oh, that's actually a good question. Actually, can I uh, preemptively roll a tactics check before that to ask a question? <laughs> yes, roll, um, roll a tactics check. Yeah, uh, like, you may you may monster. substitute religion if you're a proficient. Uh, I don't believe I am. Yet. Oh no. Oh. All I'm gonna say is read the spell carefully. Mm -hmm. Right. Huh. Okay. Well, she's not a humanoid. That is a person. Uh, that's mm -hmm. fine. Um. What else would you like to do? What else would I like to do? That's a great question. Um, hmm. <laughs> um, I, I'll, I'll just do the old reliable, actually, and we'll just go, we'll, we'll just hit her with Natasha's hideous laughter. Any, any creature can, uh, laugh. You don't have yeah, to be we've, we've, to laugh. We've, we've decided that. The robot's laughing. <laughs> You just go, ha oh, look, the robot's laughing. Did you know on, the robot's on, on, to on. laugh? Isn't that really funny? I, I do have some bad news. Um, okay. If uh, there is a, uh, Tasha's hideous laughter has a 30 foot range. You are 100 feet away. Oh. Oh, okay, right. I was yeah. used to me and Bubbles having the same turn, so I thought I could move closer with Bubbles. Mm. Uh, but if I'm just going to be stationary here, can I, I mean, can I withhold if, my turn if, and watch um, your bubbles move? Yeah, because I'm if, wondering. If you're tr you could, you could ready. Uh, you're not concentrating on any spell right now, so you could ready an action to cast Dr. Sidious Laughter after bubbles moves you within range. Okay, yeah, then I'll do that then, because, uh, yeah, I was, because, like, I think in the last combat, me and Bubbles' this turn were, like, right after each other, so I was really used to being able to... Right, because uh, you're mounted. Movement, ...and now that's not the case, so I'll just do that then. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I don't think I'll do any other hard things, so... Alright. Kef. Okay, how turn. close am I? Um, far away. Can I Oh get... god, you're so far away. How closer can I get in a I'm, turn? I'm, con I'm confused. I thought you were going to be operating the cannons. Yes, but I want to move the cannons closer. Oh. <laughs> That's not something you can do in six seconds. Your whole okay. panel filled away. I'm yeah. gonna uh, use a, a spy scope mm -hmm. uh, to to try to like uh, guesstimate what I saw last, mm -hmm. and use my use my um, uh, sextant to calculate the angle of the sun, which <laughs> I invented. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you invented the sun? Crazy! You, yeah, I know, you, right? You did, you did not invent the sextant, but okay, yes. Or the calculations, yes. or the no, no. <laughs> Perhaps the position, but not the. No, I think Kev's confusing the fact that they've invented sex and the having Instead similar Instead of, names. nah, that was my dad. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> um, instead of calculating in angles, I'm doing um solar hours. Mhm. Mm so instead of like having like a finite like solar hours and half, maybe I can go to like a fourth of a solar hour, uh, mm -hmm. if I'm being uh, precise. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to shoot a cannon at where I think she'll be. Alright. Make a, uh, make a roll a d20 plus 6. Okay. That's slash r. Mm -hmm. Space. 1d20 plus 6. Mm -hmm. See what happens when we don't play for two months, baby? This is what happens. Yeah. Oh, I never learned. It's not my fault. I, I was Dang. planning to play two weeks ago. 24. Yeah, I'm really sorry right. for that. 
It's all right. Uh, 24. 24 will hit. Kef, please roll 8d10. All right. Mm. Slash R. Face. Eight, and the cannon eight, be magical. <laughs> the cannon is not magical. I give to slam the desk and walk away. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna point towards the towards the castle and shout cannons <laughs> fire. Perfect. Alright. Cannons. The cannon the cannonball uh uh sends her reeling backwards. Uh but her demonic strength keeps uh, keeps her limbs from being blown asunder. And Pat now... I will now say, such a, sh such a shame to have to fight her. I imagine now, because, like, the people, the warlords, and, uh, like, the the warriors, uh, and Lissetta here about this, and be like, man, Ken could even blow up a demon? Not mm -hmm. worth it. Alright. Can I, like, bonus action to reload the cannon? Or... <laughs> Uh, you have people with you, uh, who are re who are immediately start reloading the cannon. Heck yeah. I stand there proud in my maid dress and dog ears and tail. <laughs> of course. Yes, Commander. Uh, <laughs> the Arrhenius, uh, takes, takes flight, flies 30 feet out, and then 30 feet into the air. Hmm. Can I see her now? Yes, you can see her fl flying m magnificently above the uh, above the walls. Um, ha! Easy target. She pulls out a uh, a hellish longbow and oh, shit. pulls from her quiver <laughs> and pulls from her quiver arrows dripping liquid mercury. Um, and she strikes a very uh, very cool dramatic pose. Uh, in front of the uh, the full moon, uh, and then she's going to attempt to murder Rosie for oh, daring oh, to oh, God. Uh, cast a spell Moi? upon her. No. Ma, madame? No, 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 no. <laughs> Do misunderstand. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> At least oh, I got a shiny dodge. Yes. Oh. oh. My God. Would that have killed you if you didn't have uncanny dodge? Yes. I don't... Wait. Wait. 18 plus... Okay, wait. This You'd be near death. That's plus a lot. No, yeah, you would be dead. 15. 40 damage. Uh, is that... If and, I pass the and the con save. My god, that's a lot. I, I'm sorry if I'm not reading this right. Is the con save determining poison damage or just the poison effect? The poison condition. The poison damage applies regardless. The con I save just effect. wanted to ask because I do know that can be a difference. Cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. I'll so you might want to uncanny me. dodge that. <laughs> Why does it say all? Wait, but the uncanny me. dodge only apply for the um, the arrow damage, not all of it. It's the whole attack. Okay. As far as I understand, I've never right. played a rogue, but that's how I think it works. Yeah. All right, and hey, you you don't get the poison condition. Yeah, I was asking that just because. Oh, I don't get the poison damage. No, you don't, you don't get the poison poisoned. condition. Okay, good. You don't okay. Get poison. Got it. Got it. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so but you're still gonna lose in. 20 hit points. 20. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Math Master KB. Hey, I used the calculator. Um, all right. Uh, I'll also roll. All right. Roll. Time. Time for the rest of my multi attack. I'll just roll a quick concentration check on uh, mischief. Okay. Mischief, I think, is still up because it didn't exceed it 20. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's not as useful damage. now, but. Uh, all right. I'm gonna shoot you again now. Oh. Is it 16 hits? 16. Let me actually double check if 16 hits. 16 is just my AC. That is your AC. Yes. Tragic. Rosie goes hey. down. Uh -oh. It's not a crit. <gasps> no! And then but my I third am... arrow is gonna go at the funny little paladin who shot me with a ballista. 
Can I roll the Constitution saving throw? Uh, not. It. Why are you're, you're unconscious? Dead. You're you're unconscious. You're unconscious. You don't you don't get to concentrate while you're unconscious. No, I mean for the poison. Oh right, that that does matter. Oh. Thank you. All right, uh, that's her turn. Bubbles. All right, so where do you want to go, boss? Um, hey, doesn't does Bubbles have healing? Can Bubbles get to Rosie? I don't remember how much healing I used last time. I think you only used one. Yeah, you used healing touch once last time, if I remember correctly. I I asked for one Wee Woo, so we still have two left. I'm I'm checking bubble movement right now. Okay, his movement speed's a hundred. Let me see if I can. Then reason. I think one hundred might be achieved. No, it's shy. I'm no, waiting for really? it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck. And I don't think I've used to teleport, but that would be another action by itself. Though yeah, you have not used teleport. But if ah, you get close if I... enough, Alistair can healing healing word as long as yeah. Can I turn. can I change my action to in to, can I change it to instead be mm -hmm. going over and doing yeah. a healing to Rosie? Let me let me do some math. Afraid not. What's Lady V turn Rosie into a? Oh yeah, to commit. Like... Yeah, you have to commit to that. Uh, so yeah, where would you want to be teleported? Because that's probably the best thing I could do for either situation. Um. You can just teleport right here, or... I don't know, she's gotta be within 30 feet to get... That's what I'm thinking. Don't but be on, like, like this route. Teleport... If she teleported, like, You can teleport here... me right on the edge, like, right by the dead archer, and I'm within 30 feet. Here? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. And then I'm right there for we. uh, when my next turn is, uh... Hold on, let me be able to... Let me we lose? Able... Yeah. We lost Vampire. Oh no! no. I think it's our turn next! Oh no. Oh, oh, we got her back. Oh, okay, hi. Alright. Alistair, your, your Tasha's goes off? Uh, yes. Okay. Wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. Does a 13 you save. You fail! Uh -huh. You keep going for just you, to fall you like what? You are flying in the air trying to shoot things and now you're laughing because this rat is dead. And, and she becomes prone yeah. so I think she falls 30 feet. The entire yeah, like you fall, fall 30 feet. Roll for fall damage. Uh, the, entire, <laughs> yes, I, the entire uh, castle is just, you know, resounding with laughter now. <laughs> well, no, he's like not laughing to... now because it was... Wait. I like to imagine that um, it's be because Rosie, when she fell, she like ragdolled in like a really weird way, and that was just really funny to to the scene. <laughs> like cast Tosh's laughter, and it causes her to fall out of the air. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, and then her her wings just like stretch out and snap into place, and she uh, falls laughing, uh, and crashes into the ground, still laughing yeah. and rolling on the ground. Yes! <laughs> Alright. Imagine, uh, imagine that... the Baron is listening on the other side of the door and just hears this cacophony outside of just robots screaming in laughter, demons screaming in laughter, cannonballs. Imagine, imagine, the imagine. list is being thrown around like, uh, like toys. Like, he definitely shouldn't be surprised when we barge in through the front door, right? I guess to imagine, like, the Baron looking out, like, the top of his castle window with, like, a glass of implied wine but it's totally blood and it's going ha the fools they have no idea what the, what the fuck's going on now <laughs> all right what is this clown shirt <laughs> lady why v. are they in maid outfits <laughs> lady v we're back to you uh because you are a cool monk you can totally just jump off this run down here jump off this roof uh, and go stab the shit out of this demon lady, if you like. Remember the poison damage from a mercury arrow. He has a mercury sword. 
Uh, Lady V, you are muted. Yep. Um. So the Mercury Sword is that gonna hurt me more than any other sword? Yeah. Quite a bit. I reckon it's probably gonna be similar to what those arrows look like, but in melee. <laughs> yeah. Also consider. You're a cool vampire monk who's got a bunch yeah. of demon laughing. Yeah. Oh, and you're prone. If you get into if since she's prone, if you get into melee, um, you'll have advantage on all of your attacks. And your fists yeah. are magical, attack will go so off. it's gonna. And, I think. Oh, yeah. And your fists yeah, are magic. You, you can actually do a lot of damage right now. Especially because you're fit. You how, how much monk are combo, you? Combo. How much monk? Okay. Eight months. That sounds good. Let's do that. Oh yeah, no, you can. Oh, magic. Girl boss so much magic damage. All right. So Lady V like puts her hand on this railing and just kind of flips over it. Uh, runs to the edge of this and uh, leaps through the air. Lands. Runs right up to the the laughing Arinius. Um All right, that's your movement. You have your action and your bonus action. And I do have sneak attack, right? Yep, you'll have sneak attack on your first hit. Uh, Jesus Christ, so horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Rogue recognizes Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's weird right. monk shit. Yeah, 26 to hit. Uh, you actually had advantage on that, so roll a second time to see if you crit. I think it's a crit. Okay, uh, oh! no crit. No crit. Um, I will go ahead and toggle not... your advantage for you. But, okay, I'll, I'll take that first to damage roll, because I'm nice. Um, so that's 20 damage for your first hit. Okay, extra attack. 21 hits for another 10 damage. Um, do I have a bonus action? You do. You can spend a key point and punch her two more times, if you like. Yeah. Does so. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> muda, 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 muda. Yeah. I believe it's Mo. Okay. Because that just sounds. Because that means you're going Mo. Right, Mo. Fifteen more damage. But I like Rung. I just I feel like up this to good. this like demon theme looking thing, and I'm just like punching bag. I so I've been watching Arcane. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, like why? Yeah. Yeah, I just picture myself like. Well, I I relate more to Jinx, um, but Same. I guess in this case, Lady V is probably more like Vi. So yeah. <laughs> Big punchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Order, so, order, order, um, order. It does get to re uh, repeat the the Tasha save several with times. Uh, for the one, two, three. The, or the four attacks that were made, so I'm going to roll Wisdom four times. Two, three, four. Uh, okay. Ah. Yeah. They are no longer yeah, laughing, but they are still- Every she passed. Uh, I, she's good. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, but, it would find it funny if they all failed. She's no longer incapacitated, but she's still prone, so that's still there. All we uh, have to do is Rhea. get in range. Yes. <laughs> Rhea, also because I'm not concentrating on the spell. All right. And my yeah, turn metal is boy. passed. Un -un yeah, metal is boy will... sober now. Metal bo yeah, Metal yeah. Boy is no longer laughing. Uh, that's good. I think I'm going to... Uh, I've got my turn, and then the thing tr takes its turn right after, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like killing this bitch. I just feel like uh, absolute murder. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take out the fucking bow of Artemis and just. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, yeah. never mind then. I guess not. Tragic. I just shot myself in the foot with it or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Rhea, 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 brain, uh, massive brain, uh, nobilitar. How hard can it be to shoot a bow? Neck <laughs> has literally never shot a bow in their entire life and isn't proficient yeah. except for this one because it's magic. Yep. <laughs> because God literally said, hey, I'm giving you this bow. Pretty much. You can use this bow. Okay, I gave well, you the bow, I didn't tell you to suck at it. Okay, anyways. 
Uh, Ray is just going to pretend that didn't happen, and mm -hmm. she's just going to hold up the bow and say, "Fight!" <laughs> and, and command the metal boy to rush in and do the slam. I for, uh, I didn't Come see this last t last turn, but it actually slammies. I didn't see it last turn. But there's actually multi attack on the sap block, so I'm mm -hmm. just going to just do that. Yeah, because so, uh, how summons okay. usually work is they attack half as much as oh, the fuck. level they're cast I, I tried to do a thing. Just a second. All right. His slam will have advantage. All two of the slams. Okay. Yes. So, uh, wow. Here comes slam number one. Unfortunate. Yep, yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! More fortunate. Yes. All right, so All right. Roll, roll your D8 plus 8. Yep. All right. That ain't bad. All right, 15 damage. Is there any follow-up effect, or is... Uh, there would be fire damage, but nope. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. I really should have picked the clay golem or something, because that, that, oh, well. that can go berserk, but oh well. You're I, was just, uh, actually, I was just actually, thinking... Actually, just, to be, just to be clear, uh, heated body, a creature that touches a construct or hits it with a melee attack, uh, it, it, it's when they touch you, not when you touch them. Oh, okay. Got it. So it's Got more it. defensive. Yeah. Got it. All right. That is Rhea's turn. Um, Willow. Deeves, it looks like you're muted. I can see you talking, but I can't hear you. <laughs> Still see him speak. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Shame. Eve. Mm, no. No not, mic. Not. No mic. Dude, just talk. Just say words. I wonder. I, I wonder if Eve has been having <laughs> connection issues. Cause no, yeah. like they they Where's seem alright. Could be the microphone. Well, they've been dropping from the call sometimes. No, that yeah. hasn't been Deeves. That oh. was that was uh, Lady B. That's I think. me. My connection keeps going in and out, but I have, there's a storm in my neighborhood right now. Oh, mm -hmm. understand. I know you mean like a thunderstorm, but for some reason my brain just interpreted it as like, yeah, there's a bunch of boy. Like, there's a storm going around in my neighborhood. And he's not leaving. <laughs> he's just staying here. He thinks he lives here now. That's pretty much how I feel about these storms. They won't stop. Deeves, yeah, if you can't quite figure out why your mic's not working, you can always try, like, sometimes just dropping the call and rejoining can fix things. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, also, if that doesn't work, um, you could try um, killing a man. I can't promise that would increase your, um, you know, quality in the call. But you get our blood in your hands, and I hear it's a very nice texture. It's not kind of call, slippery. But, I'm, but I have not heard them yet. Um, I suspect that tried... their audio is still still fucked. I mean, I know Discord likes to... Hey, Discord chat! Loves Don't you love Scuff? Hey, yep. chat. Hey. You all watch chat, YouTubers. Looking, you're used to this. Looks, yeah. looks at the chat. Hey, Silver Frog. I bet you're still there. What is your favorite... Frog. Uh, Frog. Yeah, tell us your favorite frog and um, how can we make it into a D and D frog? I like the rain frog. That's my favorite. I know I'm not. Ooh, that's a really good Deeves, frog. Deeves, Deeves I like the poison Hold dart on. frog. I like the Kermit I frog. I think that's a I really good frog. I was about to say poison dart frog. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> I, I had those oh. as pets when I was a kid. I, I had those as pets person. when I was a kid. It was they're they're very fun. They, they have they like, dangerous. If, only if you touch them. Yeah, if you know, no, if actually had, had I'd be like, I'd get them a dog with a poison dart frog outfit and tell them that's what <laughs> they actually look no, like. No, you could keep them as pets. I've oh yeah, you totally, uh, you totally can, but uh, you shouldn't keep them around cats because cats will eat them. I found that out the hard way. Anyway. Oh. And here I was just gonna go like, actually my favorite frog is probably the tree, like those like rainforest frogs. Those are pretty good. I like the red eyes. Those are pretty good frogs too. 
Yes. I like I like desert frogs that make very uh, little peeping noises. Oh, like the the what the really angry ones? Yeah, the yeah. Squeaky. They they look so angry and grumpy, and they're just so adorable. And they only come out like once it rains, and as, as of every other time, they're just like buried in sand. Which this... honestly, I can relate. Sometimes this sound is a violent war cry. <laughs> Also, I just noticed I don't have the stats for the Bow of Artemis on my sheet. I mean, like, I, I have the, like, macro, but I don't have, like, anything special about it written down for some reason. Oh, you should probably record that somewhere. I'm yeah, pretty sure to do I a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. I, I, it might be in our Discord, and I just did not copy it onto the page. Yeah. I'm gonna go up and look. Um, I'll work. Should be, should be probably under treasures. Oh yeah, tre the weird, duh. The weird thing is, is that I, I keep seeing Discord flash that Deves is like communicating, but yep, found it. Uh, I'm not hearing any audio, and Same. it's really weird. Um, Deves is gonna type their turn. Uh, <laughs> name? Yeah, I have Deves to. is typing. Yeah. Um, they guess they guess type when they go like, I wish bloodshed. Oh, I literally, literally touched <laughs> nothing. I, under I understand, oh. Apes. I understand. I don't... I don't... An audio is... is... cursed. Um... A blight upon its land and people. Yeah. Um, In the meantime, I say we all uh, share a personal fact. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Um... Willow, I think that really your best thing to do is probably to just like uh, jump over here and just like dash to get into melee with her for your next turn. Um, but isn't there another that... ballista? Yeah, but ranged there... attacks uh, and prone is disadvantage. I suppose she, she could uh, pick up the other ballista and then just ready an attack oh, point to shoot blank. when she stands. <laughs> So, Zed, do you want to start with your very personal fact? Oh, now that's a good idea. Okay. Oh. So, all right. Deves, Let's go. Uh, Willow, Willow picks up the other loaded ballista, hauls it into position, casts uh, cast magic weapon on the ballista. Uh, and that's, um, that's smart. Yeah. And uh, I would recommend, Deves, that you ready an action to shoot her when she stands up. Uh, so you want a disadvantage. Hey, she stands up, KB. Oh, I heard a Deeves. I heard a, I heard a Deeves. Oh. Fixed it. Yay! Cool. Nice. Now I don't get to uh, share my personal fact. You can still share your personal fact. You can share I... it. I asked her specifically so I cut you off. And do it. Okay, I'll watch Hi, right. Hell Nightmare. Uh, so Deeves, did you, did you hear what, what we were saying? You should uh, ready an action to shoot her when she stands up. So yes. Of disadvantage. All right, Rosie. I'm gonna roll to survive. Yes, please roll. Roll. That's okay. Uh, it's Just okay. One of my one of my one of my viewers is here, so clearly that means uh, luck is in my favor. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Oh no! I rolled that wrong. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Fortunately, luck is not in my favor. Slash. I'm a liar. All right, you have one failed death save, Rosie. Bublish. It's better than a one. Uh, yeah, at least it wasn't a one. Uh, Bublish. It's um, not red, so it doesn't floats. count. Mm -hmm. Bublish floats menacingly, uh, and he will unleash the eye rays. Some randomly selected eye rays. Uh, confused ray. My and favorite Pokemon move. Fury. Wait All a right. second. I, I think... I just noticed... I think the reason that I cr failed when trying to use the bow of Artemis... I don't have any fucking arrows! <laughs> oh? I, I didn't buy arrow. I, okay, I, it's okay if I just put that... I, 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 I think oh, that oh. the bow of Artemis doesn't need arrows. Oh, I don't remember. Not... Okay, I'm gonna double check because I was just reading it. I it, it might. It'd not. be really embarrassing if you had to borrow bolts from Rosie. That would be really embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Alright. Yeah, Rosie doesn't need him anymore. Alright, well, Bublish floats up. Eye, eye rays blasting the Arrhenius, but she uh, completely shrugs off the effects. Alistair. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a funny little, uh, fourth level cure wounds on Rosie. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Um, so that's All gonna right. be, what, 5d8 plus 9? Mm-hmm. Oh. <gasps> Let's go! Nice. 33 hit points to Rosie. I'm over I'll half. Get my, my yes. My back up on her feet. Um. Okay, that was my action. What? How many inspiration died? I guess my guess is like, yo, bestie, don't die, Rosie. <laughs> I won't die for my bestie. <laughs> Literally, just like Alistair just like gets down and just starts shaking you around, like you can't leave yet. And she's like, bestie, I'm alive. <laughs> um. And then. And then I'm gonna give, I think... I think I'm going to do my, um... Because she's about to attack soon. I'm gonna do my mantle... of inspiration, I think? No, wait, I don't know. Hold on, I'm indecisive. My brain is everywhere today. Um... No, I think I'm just gonna give um, a bardic inspiration die to uh, Lady V because she's been uh, an absolute super for us, and that's my version of uh, blowing a kiss to her. Aw. Coming monster. Alright. That's Thank Verone. You. Uh, you are moving the cannon. Uh, you're trying to get the cannon in into the castle. Um, no, actually, I'm gonna stand on top of the cannon, mm -hmm. clap twice, extend my right arm, and say, water, and just wait. Oh no. Water? You're gonna, you're gonna Instead use water, fire? water to, like, uh, like, propel yourself towards the castle? Is that what's happening? No, no, no what are you asking your for? Way in? I'm just asking for a drink. Ah! Oh, I thought no, you were using okay. power of water. water. No, no, no. Mysterious okay, no. plan. I'm just asking for water. <laughs> I thought Listen, you were using no, power I... word. But right no, I was right using the water power water. word. That has I would have said the atomic word. Listen, <laughs> My I, had God. Really, I had a really cerebral idea of what you meant by when you said water, because obviously water, like, it's a play on saying fire when you... Uh, aim someone to load the cannon, so water would be like you're commanding the cannonball to return back into the cannon. <laughs> water. <laughs> <laughs> just, you were right, that is survival. My goodness. That was right. like my interpretation of it. That was wonderful, Lux. Your brain right. is beautiful. Thank you. The Arrhenius stands beautiful. up. Willow, take the shot. This will be uh, a d20 plus your dex mod plus proficiency. Oh boy. You can just click, like, your scimitar or something. Or, no, your scimitar is plus one, it looks like. Uh, just click your dagger or something. Alright, unfortunately, a. Uh, unfortunately, the. Uh, 13 does not hit, because you didn't have advantage. Oh, um, damn. Oh, no! Yes, unfortunately, the cro the ballista bolt strikes the ground next to the Arrhenius. And the Arrhenius, uh, looks Kills the robot. Honestly, I was he hoping to be hilarious dead. and laughs again, yeah. actually. <laughs> now, the Arrhenius draws their sword and is going to attempt to cut down the, uh, the vampire which has, uh, struck her so hard. Two-handed longsword swings. One. 
Two. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Three. Oh my god. Do any of those hit? No. So, the Arrhenius oh pulls my god. out their... The Arrhenius pulls out their longsword um, with two hands, putting, letting their, their bow go to the side. Uh, and with two hands, she swings, uh, and Lady V is just, like, matrix dodging around them. Uh, just, like, the first one goes for her head, and Lady V just, like, leans back. She brings in the other one, and Lady V, like, jumps and spins over them, uh, over the other two swings. Uh, and, and the Arrhenius is getting frustrated and, uh, cursing an infernal. Awesome. Bubbles. I pick up every other word because... I know people. And you know folks. Meanwhile, Rosie and Alistair's like, Rosie gets like, <gasps> Oh, do she curse in your in the devil speak? <laughs> oh, she's saying some absolutely horrible things. Oh, cool. Can I learn them? <laughs> <laughs> yes. A- after the battle, we'll go through uh, cursing an infernal. Oh, nice. Um, I'll teach you how to say I curse you and all of your descendants in your bloodline. That's a very ooh. common thing. Bubbles, being an angel, is pretty, um, disturbed by this. <laughs> I think I know how to say that in Dwarvish. Like, IRL. Wait, what? Yeah. Because <laughs> I memorized the thing from, from the Hobbit movies. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's See, Rosie, Rosie, Rosie literally... I would expect nothing less. <laughs> no, you see, it's okay. Rosie gets to have an angel on her shoulder, and that's Bubbles and the devil on her shoulder. It's her bestie. Um, yeah, it's balanced. All things should be. <laughs> um, I'm fine What's if Bubbles you want to use do? Bubbles to heal Rosie, by the way, a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have Bubbles heal Rosie a bit with the healing touch. That's All right, fine. 2d8 plus 2. Thank you. And you'll have one healing touch left for this day. Thank you. Like, I know I used. Yeah, that's it's right. Hey, it's um. Health is hell. Hey. Could mean the difference between life and death. It really can mean the difference between life and death. I feel like he makes it a bit more minimal because, like, oh, Rosie, you shouldn't learn devil speak. Not for those reasons. All right. All right. Lady V, you were you were engaged in man-to-man combat with the Serenius. What will you do? Continue to punch the shit out of her. Valid. Uh, <laughs> you no longer have advantage, uh, but you will have it. sneak attack on your first hit because Metal Boy is giving you sneak attack. Eee. And don't I? I have. Um, is that what you were talking about previously when I had inspiration or something? Yes, What's... I gave you bardic inspiration. Okay, don't I get right. my. You get so a. You can add that. You can either add that to uh, your. You can add that to your hit to attack, or you can add it as damage. Okay, and I can decide after I roll what I want to add it to, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, well, yeah. and you can save it. So, like, if you roll a critical hit, you can be like, okay, I'm gonna save it for another. You know, I, I'm not gonna use it right now. Um, but yeah. So go ahead and click your first attack. Alright. All right. <laughs> it's like right, baby so, was like, yeah. If you get a crit. Speaking of. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Fifteen plus nine. Plus... I think that just takes her out. Yeah. Does it? All right. Yeah, Lady V. So it's your it's your turn, and she's like swinging her sword uh, at you, uh, cursing you in the black speech of hell. And then Lady V, you just like. Study her moves and then come in and with one solid punch right to her nose, uh, <laughs> shatter her, shatter her her nose like devil blood just goes out and she like stops, staggers backwards as you have just one punched, uh, one punched her, <laughs> and then she staggers back, uh, explodes in hellfire, and she returns to hell. Wampong! Say yeah. hey to Frazik for me. Mm. <laughs> Alright. And with that... And with that, the courtyard is in your control. 
Now, the party can gather themselves to head into the castle. Okay, I'm immediately going to, uh, go to anyone that died in this fight, and I'm just going to loot arrows off of them. Like, I'm gonna run over this <laughs> archer and just grab just a bunch of arrows. <laughs> Yeah, just go over to this just, archer. Like, Raya just like comes back and she just starts like walking the rounds of like, oh, okay, taking the quiver off this guy, off this yep. guy, push this body <laughs> over the edge. All so right, how, how how many arrows do I get? Uh, please be generous. To um, you. there are uh uh. Well, let's 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 roll. All um, right. Um, I'll just roll d20 speech because I know a quiver typically has 20 arrows in it, I yeah. think, at least in D&D. But they were fighting a bit, so I'm going to make oh, it 2d10 instead of it. Uh, so yeah, 15 arrows. Alright, I will take it. That's not right. bad. It's arrows. Mm-hmm. Rosie just kind of looks right. over to Alice. Alice is like, aww. He's looting our first arrows. I know when I did that. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, when you when you stole your first arrows from the fir from the dead bodies that you killed. Uh well, I really actually just stole from a guy who lost a finger because he wanted to trap me and was like, you know, this. <laughs> Rosie just puts up her necklace of a rat trap. <laughs> oh well, he deserved it then. Oh, he did. Yeah, okay, no, he totally deserved it because he's like totally gonna kill Meanwhile, me. Meanwhile, while everyone is uh, conversing, <laughs> Doctor Corona, Corona, dog maid. Uh, come comes in riding on a cannon, being pushed by uh, soldiers. Can I come <laughs> in resting on a cannon? <laughs> oh sure, you could be you could be resting on the cannon like 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 uh, all, all sexy. Like right? Resting Nothing. perhaps like one of your French girls. Oh, mm -hmm. I was just seeing if I could maybe get a, lo a short rest started. Oh, <laughs> uh, that that takes a whole hour. You do not have time. Like when we finally like. When we finally beat, like, the Baron, and it Zed goes, or, like, uh, Kep goes, Oh, I didn't see you there. Do you oh, oh, they're gone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get off my cannon and look over here, look at Lady V, and just point and go, Who? Who? Hmm. Who was to be? Well, whoever she is, she helped us out a lot. Oh, I'm yeah, really I think... Send that bitch back to hell. Yeah, no. She's a vampire, but she's like a willow vampire, not like a, uh, you know, a royalist vampire. Cool, cool. I'm gonna gesture for my people to aim the cannon at her. <laughs> uh! Hey, she punched a demon to hell. That's pretty cool, and though. Then, you shouldn't do that. And then I will say, to join the party of the... Answer my riddles three. Oh my god. <laughs> Alistair is just going to dismount off of bubbles and I'm just step in front of Lady V. I, I, hey guys, I, I, and boys you guys please please that. keep going and entertaining chat. I have to go make a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. <laughs> on, on, on. <laughs> and Alistair is just going to be like, Doctor, we're not going to do that over someone who just helped us take over to take down that fiend. Please. Do we even know? That they're on our side. I have she's three dead questions. that she's on our side and punched a demon to hell. Yeah, a friend of your, uh, like, uh, an enemy of your enemy is not your friend, always. They could also just um, be Well, actually doctor, the, actually, doctor, the saying literally does go, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah, well, that so... saying is false. I mean, mm. Oh, yeah, do you have any scientific evidence to back that up? Yes, I am not always your friend. Well, then. But um, I am also the enemy of this doctor, person we right know now. that. Hey, uh, Doctor, I'd like to bring out this piece of evidence I found right here. Uh, Rosie uh, gets out a piece of paper from a parchment and goes like, um, yeah, it says right here, um, you're a bitch and can't trust people, so... Oh! <laughs> wow! Someone's Publish. got trust here, issues! Boy. Publish. <laughs> Publish, here, boy. Metal Boy is just going to go over, walk over to the cannon and just politely pick it up and just take it away from the Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I will God, fire it, it and use Soraya. the inertia. I will use the inertia to knock it out of its hands. Oh no! Wasting one of our shots. <laughs> I will. Ready? I'll do it. <laughs> I've done it for less. No. <laughs> Fine. Oh, no. I will now resort to my other method. Pouting oh? until I get my way. Oh, cool! You won't. 
Yeah, <laughs> some you might work on the captain, but we don't have to report to the captain right now. Actually, I am the second highest ranking officer. Ooh, but mm. Mm. Ray, how actually, do you actually, feel about that? Our gracious leader. <laughs> I, I, okay. I believe that I should be the leader for the moment. And, uh, Doctor, no. I wonder if if that would break a vow. Disobeying a superior's orders in the hierarchy. I don't. Wait. I don't know if you're necessarily a superior. I am. Cause, isn't because Ray is literally our appointed leader. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, of the party, not the crew, though. Yeah, you're part but of the party. Captain Captain this is a lot more of a personal matter. As to a crew oh, matter. A crew. I thought we we're all part of the crew too. Yeah, but this is a lot more of a personal thing for Willow than I just have three, three questions. Willow's... <laughs> Well, maybe children, you can ask children. questions after we've killed the person what we've come, I come here back to kill. To? Children. You can't they ask took the my party cannon. having a heated <laughs> argument. They took my cannon. It's not <laughs> your cannon, it's Rhea's cannon. She bought it. Yeah, they took my cannon. The, the metal boy is picking up the cannon and taking it away from the doctor. It's, that's what's Remember, happening doctor, right now. Remember, doctor, I gave you those dog ears and I can take them back. <laughs> Willow, Willow pulls out some candies from her pocket to get everyone's attention again. Oh. Yeah, lady, oh. lady children says... Uh, listen, I'm not here to join your party. Um, I'm here to, uh, for one mission only. And can we please get started? What is your mission? Don't worry about it. Just... Ooh, mm, wrong now answer. that you say I'm it like that. that. Yeah, now you, you know, say it like you that. You know, quite frankly, I'm not going to worry about it. Do you care if the Baron lives or dies? Do I care what... If the Baron lives or dies? No. That's good enough for me. That means her yeah. mission is not the Baron. She doesn't share our goal. So what, what is your you... cause for being here? Hypothetically speaking. I'm sure the knights would love to know about another vampire they can take out. But also consider... As if they could take out uh, Victor. What? <laughs> yeah, also consider I mean, leveraging the, things to get information. Lady B says, um, "Do you see what I just did to that demon? I'm on your side for now. That's all that should matter to you. I for need now. one thing. I need now, one thing. I need one thing, you know, and one doctor. thing only, and that doesn't involve any of you, Doctor. Let's just let's just listen to her for now. And to Let answer come your along. question, no, I did not see. I was on the other side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> just." Ray just pet his tentacles until the tantrum's <laughs> over. Ray, so Ray, Ray reluctantly Fine. One does last so. question, and I will go with you cautiously. I mean, you don't have a choice. We're here for Willow. I have a choice. <laughs> I mean, oh, sure, so, if you want to so be a wanna, So you want to be a bad friend? Yeah, exactly. that's a choice. You can make the choice to be a bad friend and leave your friends behind. And it's okay. No, no, we'll no, all remember insane. it and judge your you. Your friends don't dance in it. They don't dance in it. It's why, 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 are so against, why are we so against fleshing out possible causes uh, that could uh, ruin our, our goals? Because she helped us kill someone that almost yeah, yeah, killed yeah, yeah, yeah. one Strangers, of us. Yeah, witches help people. Quote unquote. Help. <laughs> yeah. Else, a witch has never helped me. What'd you call me? <laughs> oh. Hey, it's a comparison. It's a metaphor. Ooh, real bad comparison there, buddy. Because now she totally could punch you in the face Doctor? and send you to hell. Doctor, uh, next question: Does anyone Doctor. in this party party actually know this souls. person? How many of you are there? One, two, three. She starts to count. Real quick, KB. Oh. Uh, it was, or or Lady Lady V could answer this too. Was she in Ebonmore? Nope. She was. Uh, she, oh, she was in. Yes, she was. In so Evan can't Moore someone just party. identify them? Um, yeah, uh, Rhea. Um, I am you... sorry. I. Yeah, Rhea, you me you this whole time. Side lady trying. V when <laughs> in the uh, the fight with the um, uh, blind, the void of sight. Alistair okay. will like turn she, around and like she was look a friend at her and be like, of no. Cobb and I think we we actually have we met before maybe briefly before some horrible event occurred. Uh, wait a second, you were at Evanmore. <laughs> right, Evanmore. You were in the curse. You were in the curse. You just don't know who she is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I for some reason just completely spaced that Lady V was one of the people there. 
I, well, I only well, well, I only remembered the funny skeleton man, okay? I campaign now. In all fairness to Rhea, that was an incredibly traumatic event for you. It totally makes sense that Rhea would not recognize someone from that event until like a while yeah. later when everything like, calmed down and she's like, like there were only second. two people relevant it was cauldron and bone man yeah bone, bone man. man that's okay. actually so, really so, doctor this, this person is <laughs> if you would like to see more of this bone with. man if you would like to see more of this bone man chat he he is one of the players <laughs> in uh the game which plays on the mondays opposite of this one uh in the a fox's tale the wild hunt campaign Ooh. And it's the one where it's the one where they want to uh, kill a lot of goblins. Well, that's how Wonderful. it started. Now they're um, now they're bringing laughter and joy back to the Shadowfell. Um, oh, that's, good. that's lovely. No, right, so Ray, Ray is just gonna grab the doctor murder. by the soldier. Ray, oh, of course, Ray is gonna grab the doctor and just shake him. Like, okay, stop this now. This person helped me fight one of the the voids in Ebonmore. So I think we can trust them. Mm-hmm. This one we of have... the... I thought you told me about all the voids. Did I not? I'm not sure if you mentioned this one. I thought we had an agreement. I think I think she did. I think she would have mentioned this one. I think I did. Oh, okay. Uh, or, like, that was... The, the whole sky turned black. You were there. You, you know. Yeah. It was pretty obvious it was a void. You were on the <laughs> ship because you couldn't make the session, but... but... Kef, well, sure. Katol was a, was definitely aware of of that fight. I don't know. Hear me oh, out. Okay, okay. What if Katol's totally gaslighting right now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, incredibly in character. It would Kattol be is like not even out right now. Oh my god. Like, yeah, yeah, but like they I, I knew that wasn't your from inside. I know that wasn't actually your intention, but I was like thinking right. like if it was, I wouldn't be surprised. So while you fine, are um, fine, I'll agree to go with just no taking you, mirrors. All, all mirrors are laid claim here. to by me. While you are all arguing out here, uh, oh, dramatic music and and um, uh, chanting can be heard from the next the next uh, ah, from inside the the main doors of the castle. Oh, cool. Okay. That's not good. Uh, metal machine, go in there before us and scout the place. Metal man. Metal man. Metal man. All right. On on on. Let me move you to the to the new map. Let's do it. Whoa! Right. Whoa! As you, as you enter, you see a feasting hall. Um. Where countless faithful devil worshippers um, are gorging themselves between chanting. Um, at the far end sits Volgor, the troll butcher, the right hand man of Baron Zacharias. Oh. And, a de and a devil priest sits at his side. As the party walks in, metal boy in the front on 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 they turn the cultists all turn their heads moving in a perfect synchronicity Ugh. they hate that mm. very nice in perfectly synchronized movement they all draw silver uh, shining scimitars Volgar stands and says, More food for the feast. Kill Whoa. them. Can you guys are devil worshippers, right? You wouldn't hurt me, right? <laughs> I'm too crazy. Why are my initiatives die? terrible? Do we? And it's like. Alright. Uh, Bubbles roll 19, by the way. Oh, nice. Oh, let's go, Bubbles. Fuck yeah, Bubbles. Oh, uh, it's a shame I already used my Entangle, because I could fuck up so many of these cultists. Oh, you sure could. Well, remember what I said about most of my spells are uh, good for crowd control? Mm -hmm. 
This is this is oh, the God. Alistair well... combat. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Are you doing right, sections of cultists or? They're all gonna move. They're all gonna move um, uh, on one initiative. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. God, imagine if they didn't. That would be insane. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, not one, gonna, two, three, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do seven, that to eight. my audience. Here's my 16 myself. initiative rolls of cultists. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lady V, initiative falls to you. What would you We're like to do? We're just going in here and just fucking shit up, oh, right, yeah. guys. Oh yeah, oh, everyone in here is... Everything in here needs to die. Every Very single much. person is our enemy. Um... How much of this can, like, Lady V capitalize on for her needs, KB? Alright. All of the all of them, I would assume. Um... So... Or should I just worry about that later? Oh, um, like the souls. These ones are the they're oh. these what these souls are already damned. So I'm afraid that there's little to be gained. Uh, they're taken. Bestie. Well, actually, they're taken by a different demon lord. So you could totally steal them, uh, for Abaddon. Abaddon's cool about that, um, because he's the boss. So he's like, what are they gonna do? Complain? Um, he'll <laughs> just send them to the HR department. It doesn't exist. Um, so you, uh, so it's an empty you could, room. you <laughs> yeah, uh, you could, uh, you could use them for your purposes. However, you would need to capture them and, uh, sacrifice them through, like, a ritual. Um, but if you, you okay. can choose to knock some out, um, and then if no one notices, maybe you can steal one later. Alright, how far am I away from the, one of the first ones? Uh, you are 35 feet away, so you totally have, uh, movement to, like, run and punch. God, uh, if you, you like... You totally so get right up here and just start, uh, clobbering, guys. Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, if you take out one cultist, you could easily just start mowing them down. <laughs> yeah. You know, same, same, same. I don't have the sneak attack, though, do I? Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, but yeah, so 27... Okay. Uh, 27 hits, uh, 6 damage. Uh, 26 hits. Uh, that is one defeated cultist. Um, nice. Is he dead or merely stunned unconscious? He's oh, dead. my favorite game show. All right. Uh, yeah, so Lady V just, like, darts up here, gets into melee with these two guys, and then just, like, puts her hand through this one's chest. Um, tearing out his heart. Nice. Because she's a monster like that. Uh, because I Lady v, feel you... like it. Because it's just yeah, awkward things. You, you still have a bonus action. What would you like to do with it? Um, oh, start punching the next guy. Okay. Uh, yeah. 12. Yeah. Uh, 12 does hit a cultist. Nice. <laughs> 10 damage. Holy shit. So that is another uh, dead cultist. So Lady V, oh you just God. like, after you punch this one guy's heart out of his chest, you just like fling his whole corpse over uh, into the other one and break his neck. Uh, two, two dead. Uh, and... <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know if you're just repositioning to be more realistic or aligning to the grid, but I really like I'm these cultists the up in the corner. Just like backing up a little bit after seeing. Yeah. <laughs> after seeing. I love that. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just snapping them all to the grid now. I know, but yeah, I just scared. love the imagery. I'm just a little bit. Beautiful. All right, uh, Lady V, uh, you used 35 feet of movement, so you can still like move up here and threaten these two guys if you want. Yeah, I get closer. All right, so Lady V is just like going down the line, mowing people down. Nice. 
the cult fanatic up here at the top. He's gonna have a he's gonna have a little reaction to that. Um, what's the range on that spell? All right, sixty feet. Rain goes fucking you die. Yeah. Uh, from up here, he points at uh, Lady V and says, <clears throat> "You do not know what powers you are messing with." Kneel. Uh, and he casts command on Lady first. V. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, and uh, please make a wisdom saving throw. Is that on the left side? Uh, or no, so, it's under saving throws. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Lady V replies, take me to dinner first. Uh, negating <laughs> his negating his his uh, command spell, um, and he will then move to be behind the big boy. Uh, hey, Volgar, could you? She didn't listen Volgar, to my help. She's not dad. listening to my. Volgar, she's not listening. She's resisting my spells. Go smash her. Like she, I, mean, I know it was level one, but like, my my Satan dad only gave me a first level spell for my uh, hell allowance, so. <laughs> Touches his fingertips together. C can you please uh, go go uh, take care of both of me? All right. I'll give you. I'll give you my zebra cakes uh, at lunch. Okay, just a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, how do you cone cone work? Like, okay. if it, you uh, have a thing with like a a thirty foot cone, how does that work? Okay. Like mathematically. So they, no, like how? Like so, what's the shape that I right. draw? So the shape. The shape, the shape in uh, it, how you draw a cone in fifth edition, is basically uh, if it's a thirty foot cone, then uh, you start by declaring one one square that is adjacent to you, and then uh, and then you go two squares, one of which needs to have a face in common with the other one, and then you can do three, um, and then you can do uh, four. Uh, okay. And you can you can make your co you can make your cones all twisty turny if you like, or you can just keep expanding in one direction. Oh my um, goodness! Yes. And, am I and... am I thinking what you may be thinking of? Maybe. Mm. I'm gonna but step yeah, forward so... uh, to right here, and I uh, I'm just gonna take out the fucking eye of Midas. Oh! <laughs> I'm just gonna turn my these God. fuckers to gold. Why the fuck not? Here we Jesus go. Christ. I'm just gonna literally, do it. Why the literally, why the fuck not? And if we have enough time before the Baron, or after we get done with the Baron, we can scrape all the gold off of the statue. Exactly! <laughs> they aren't worth the fucking trouble. These are cultists. Oh, Lady but, V with her true mm -hmm. power. But the, the, look, think of all the folds in their robes that they have that increases the surface area that gold can get on. Oh, you're oh, right. Yeah, exactly. Alright, here we go. Right, so, it's a 60 foot I've, cone, right? Yes. yes. All right, then you can get this whole side. That's fine. I think I, that takes out most of the cultists. Yes. <laughs> I think that's a good if idea. If they fail. Yes. All right. All right. And the rest uh, of them the all just feels like a flow. Ah, oh, this is fucking awesome. Oh, uh, the save for it. Uh, my mm -hmm. spell save DC is. Oh wait, no. Is it my spell save DC for this? I think it's the items, because that's usually how most magic items work. I don't know what a spell save DC yeah. is then. Uh, 15, I believe. Okay. Uh, so it's, a, same as it's a con save, right? Yeah, that's pretty hard for cultists. Yeah. Uh, oh, seven. boy. Yeah, constitution save. Okay. Uh, if they, f uh, I'm gonna go top to bottom here. So, uh, there are seven in this cone. Nice. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. Well, they're rolling pretty well today. Um, yeah, actually. Okay, so Three of them are the third, golden boys. Third, fourth, and fifth one, or uh, third, fourth, and are restrained. Yep. Uh, third, fourth. And the last one. Alright, so the ones that I've marked with spider webs are now restrained. 
uh, as Rhea steps forward and holds out the Eye of Midas, a golden staff with a golden eyeball on the edge, on the end, uh, and it flashes with a bright golden light, and three of the cultists uh, beca uh, become restrained as their skin begins to transform into gold before their eyes. <laughs> um, I love it. All right. Does that conclude your turn? Uh, well, after that, Stone Boy, or Metal Boy, is just mm -hmm. going to uh, lumber on forwards, just smash right through this table, and just uh, punch another cultist. <laughs> punch two cultists. Oh, wait, wait, 30 feet of movement, I'm sorry. Where was he? He was right here. Let's see mm -hmm. if he can... So, looks uh, like he's... he can't... Yeah, he can go on that side of the table. Yeah, he can go on this side of the table. He'll punch a... Yeah. He'll punch the second one in the row. He can punch two, remember, because he's got. Multi oh, he can punch two. Yeah. Okay. So he'll, he he'll try punch. Spell. He'll try and punch the first and second. So here, here is this. Right. Oh, uh, the first that should have been. The first one was with advantage, so. Oh. Okay. So the twenty-one does work. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. So here's the, the D eight plus eight. Mhm. Mm uh, uh, that just kills him. Oh. oh. Well, fuck yeah! All right. I'll take it. All right, here comes the <laughs> second nine, attack, then. He has nine hit points, so... <laughs> okay, uh... yeah. Yeah, okay, All I right. think that one hits as well. Yeah. So, yeah, Metal two cultists down. Metal Boy just gums up, bam! Clobbers two, <laughs> nice. two cultists. Oh, I like the idea of it just being, like, one, like, big swing of, like, it hits one cultist and just with the sheer momentum just keeps going towards the other one. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Nice. All right, and that's that's my turn. So, Volgor uh, just dashes uh, down, uh, straight down towards all of you, um, getting into melee with Metal Boy. But he had to dash to get that far. Bubbles. Okay, so I know both me and Alistair are on the oh, uh, bubbles tell me icon. I an orb moment like a while ago, and I didn't do it. Oh, cool. Uh, but I want to ask more for um, for Alistair. Do you want to be on bubbles? Because I don't know if we both um, can be on bubbles. Um, I recall I dismounted at some point in the conversation. If you wanted to be on bubbles this time, that's fine. I'll be on Bubbles as a treat. Rosie can be on Bubbles as a treat. So in that case, I'm just gonna run on up towards uh, where uh, Lady V started. <laughs> <laughs> Galloping on Bubbles for Bubbles to skewer a man. Um, but it's okay, he's an evil, evil man. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's definitely more than 20 feet. This will use charge. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. It doesn't affect that. Okay. 21's hits. Mm -hmm. I just kind of want to see the overkill of this. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Right. Yeah. Very deceased. <laughs> Oh, very deceased. Incredibly deceased. And then Bubbles, with great speed, war just sort of goes around um, uh, Lady V to just hoof the other man as, like, they just see, like, two of their people being, like, slaughtered by this one lady, run over by a horse, and then a horse of just going in, ideally, uh for his ribs. I that hits. will hit. Mm hmm. Six plus four. For enough to kill a cultist. Mm, all right. Bam. Down. All right. Cultists. <laughs> God, I'm so glad Bubbles got armor. 
allow us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> These four cultists come come charging in, uh, their wicked weapons raised high, uh, and they are going to attempt to cut down this celestial who has appeared, who has dared appear before them. Um, mm -hmm. namely Bubbles. Mm -hmm. Uh, one, two, three, four attacks. The 18 hits. All right. Bubbles, take three slashing damage. Oh, no! A little paper cut. Chip the hoof. <laughs> they ruined his haircut a little bit. Aww. He worked really hard on that. He worked, he worked really hard on that. <laughs> this cultist runs around and attempt, uh, goes for Rhea, the obviously very powerful spellcaster. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. He rolls a nine, which fails to hit. <laughs> this one can't quite get into melee yet, so he's gonna dodge. <laughs> oh, oh, I like to imagine him coming up with a knife like, Ooh, I'm gonna get you. I'm and gonna I, get mm -hmm. you. I just kind of hold up the, the Midas staff and just kind of like block it just casually like, really? That was hardly <laughs> even a, 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 like, wow, okay. You didn't even need to cast shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These two I actually also feel bad fighting. and dodge. Uh, and these two are currently being turned to gold and are horrified uh, and are unable to move because they are restrained. Uh, they will repeat the saving throw at the end of their turns. Um, All right. Oh, uh, one. One lives. There's a one. Six, one has one success and this one has one failure. Uh, so if you don't remember how Flesh to Stone works, um, while you are restrained by this, uh, you repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Um, if it fails to save three times, it is turned to stone. Um, if it successfully saves three times, the spell ends. So basically, right, basically you're kind of like rolling... Right, right. They're basically making, like, death saving throws, but with a con, uh, with their constitution against the spell save, uh, whether or not they get petrified. Um, all right. Um, that is my cultists. Alistair. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to do some measuring. Oh, okay. Oh. 40 feet is a lot, jeez. Yeah, um, let's see. So, I'm I'm going to be cast... Actually, wait, let me... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... Yes. This, is, this seems like a very good opportunity to, to get a... a real get good slowdown. A Slow your good roll. old-fashioned slowdown. Um, All right. I think I can do it because I will obviously I want to get Volgor Troll Butcher in there. Um, mm -hmm. I think if I center the cube with the edge of him, I can get him. Um, these four cultists up here, and then one of these guys in the corner. Nice. Oh yeah. So those are my six targets. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a. F a forty foot cube? Wow. Yeah. It's a forty foot uh, cube. It's it's huge. It sure yeah. is forty feet for no reason. Like <laughs> slow really is yeah. like so you can get, the temptation uh, so of power. If you, yeah, if you can get both of these guys and uh two of these guys, looks like. Yeah. Uh, Man, good? imagine being slowed and turning into gold. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Uh, alright, so that is a wisdom saving throw. We'll roll the cultists first. First, the two who are petri who are slowly turning to stone. Uh, what? They will... <laughs> One is they're just like... They're uh, they, with they, they, they are just... stone. They, they have too much will to live right now. Um, uh, the what? other two cultists, 
Um, Failing no, they're, miserably. They're gonna, they're gonna they're gonna be a little slow right now. Uh, let me see. I think I have a stopwatch uh, that I can put on them. Boop. And boop. All right. And then Volgor. Volgor, the troll butcher. Wisdom is not his best stat. Uh, he will roll a 15, which fails. Slow. Slowed. That's so good. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, now if he dashes, he can get 30. Half, minus 2 to AC and dex. Yes. Can't use reactions. Either an action or bonus action, not both. Uh, and no multi-attack. Oh. <laughs> All right. Alistair, good turn. Rosie. Thank you. I bow. Rosie the dozy. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get my short sword and, uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, s like, stab this guy over here. The slowed one? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab a slow boy. All right. Stab away. And because I have a horse, I would approx sneak attack, correct? That is correct. Just wanted to make sure. That's how horses work. Does 13 uh, that hit? Will hit. 13 and hits. I don't need sneak attack, but I want to as a treat. Very deceased. Mm hmm. Yes, uh, as he starts slowing down and moving in slow motion, and then uh, Rosie just brings in the sword right through the neck. Dead close. Uh, I was gonna say, like, right right in the clavicle, like, right between the neck and the shoulder, because, like, I'll stop that. Oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> just, like, no hesitation. Just, okay, you're gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else from Rosie? Mm, no, I don't really need anything in my bonus action considering my movement's really bubbles based mm -hmm. right now. Alright then. Alright, Bublish. Bublish, 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 Bublish. Uh, Bublish is gonna like move over here, and then Bublish is going to start uh, using his funny little eye rays. He's gonna do one on this guy and one on this guy. Because he doesn't care if they're dodging. Because that's not how I I raise. Because they're saves. Because they're not deck saves. Mm hmm. All right. So first, first up, uh, the first boy is going to make a is going to have a confusion ray. That's a wisdom save for him. He will make that, unfortunately. And then the other boy is going to get a fear ray. Oh, that's a fun one. Wisdom save. Uh, unfortunately, that makes it. The cultists, the cultists do not know fear. Um. Oh, also they had advantage on that one. Okay. Because they Sorry, literally please. have forgotten the concept of fear. Willow. Yeah, back to you. Okay, I move over to... And I cast Aura of Protection. Uh, is, I believe Aura of Protection is just a constant Paladin ability, is it not? Well, is it? it gives... Oh, yeah. I, yeah, thought, yeah. I thought you were aura doing, like, Aura spell of, like... Yeah, yeah no, that's always... Aura of Protection is just... Okay. That's just always on. Uh, you okay, okay. always have... I thought you were doing stuff like Aura of Vitality or like Aura of Life or something for or like Paladin spells. Um, these guys are are small fry. Might I recommend stabbing? Yeah. Perhaps slashing even. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. The uh the nine does not hit. Um, is it a wait? Is it magic? Is it magic? Is it plus? Is it magic center? Um, that that was magic weapon, uh, which should be tipped oh. off right now because she she cast it okay. on the. Um, I thought so. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, that will hit. Um, for three, uh, smite. three, da <laughs> three damage. Um, oh, turn off the, that as well. Uh, y you do have an extra attack though. Is there a high enough level um, oh, yeah. paladin so you get to attack normally twice? There we go. That's what, that's what we want to see. Willow comes up, scimitar, dagger, the cultist goes down. Alright. Well, let me untick your shield. You're using the dagger. Alright. Doctor. Kef is gonna furrow his brow, sigh. And then point at Volgor and say cannons. All right, roll a d uh, a d twenty plus six. Volgor has minus two AC because he is slowed right now. So let's see if he can catch a cannonball. I don't think he can. Well, he's gonna be hit by it. So please roll eight d ten. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, nice. nice. Funny number. Oh. Kef will now say, "Hmm," and flip their hair. Funny number. <laughs> the uh, uh, yes, the the cannon fires and echoes through the hall uh, as the the ball um, crunch crashes into Volgar. He catches it with his mighty troll strength, but there is a sound of breaking ribs uh, as as even the mighty troll has is winded from the blow. Alright, would you like to do any movement, or are you uh, done, Dr. Corone? How do I measure? There's a little uh, ruler, ruler in the top, right, top left corner. Mm -hmm. I'll stay here. Okay. I'll move to the side. Alright, Lady the cannon, V. But... Lady V, we are back to you. Yes. Yes. Row of dead cultists. A wounded troll. More enemies to the north. What would you like to do? Um, Lady V sees the cultists going after Rosie and comes mm -hmm. to the comes to their aid over there. Nice. All right. Now you want to go to this side and get out the ones that are not slowed or do you want to move here and get the one that is uh slowed? The right ones now? that are not slowed. Okay. All right. Punch. You punch one you punch one, uh, you just, like, grab him and smash his head into the, the stone wall over here. Uh, he's dead. You then, you then, uh, smash the other one, uh, but it's not quite a solid blow, and he's still alive. Bonus action? Yeah, how about that? That'll, that'll do. <laughs> you just, you, uh, as he staggers back from your punch, you just, like, uh, jump in the air and do a do like a, a kick and uh, break his neck. Very lady V style. Mm -hmm. You know, very lady V like. Yeah, uh, that's only 15 and feet of movement. Her. You can still move more if you like. She says to the dead cultist, "You're lucky I don't have time to do more to you." <laughs> um. <laughs> um Hands together like I... a fly. <laughs> She'll move like around to the other side of the slow cultist, like getting closer to the cult fanatic back there. Okay, so you want to like, um, yes, move, like go walk like up here, like over behind the... him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. thank you. All right. All right, cult fanatic. 
as he sees all his followers fall apart. Yeah. yeah. Um. He. Let's see. Man. Uh. <laughs> Man. He 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 see he sees Lady V and how um she is tearing through his people and getting closer and closer to him. Um, and he goes. You stay right there! And he's gonna cast a uh, hold person on you. Lady V, make a. Um, make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Oh no. She Lady stays v. right there. Oh, you still have, wait, you still have bardic inspiration, <laughs> don't you? Oh yes, you do. Oh, I do. Uh, you should roll. You should spend that bardic inspiration. <sighs> Oh, I love uh, you. What size? <laughs> what size is your your bardic inspiration, Alistair? D eight. Alright. Yeah, I think it's a D. Yeah, it's a D eight. Oh. All right. That is enough. Oh, <laughs> Lady V. <laughs> Lady so V. You um. Oh. Me too. Uh, <laughs> Lady V, you feel your muscles starting to seize up uh, by this command uh, from this this uh, follower of Mania, but uh, you remember Alistair's um, uh, devilish smile from earlier, and uh, you power through. All right, uh, and he's going to uh, move. Um, 30 feet over here. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Rhea Ionia. So, uh, I'm going to have my... Oh, wait, actually, Metal Boy goes after me. Sorry, never mind. I'm going to step mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Oh, wait, wait, actually, I was in the perfect spot for it. Never mind. Because I just noticed he moved. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just get, uh, like, aim right between the troll and my my metal boy. And I'm gonna mm -hmm. try actually doing the bow of Artemis correctly and shooting at the cult fanatic. And let me just okay. double check its its effects, because I, I have them copied now, because there's some funky ones. Mm -hmm. hmm. Do I want to spend a charge? Why not spend a charge? I'll spend a charge. I'll it's your relic. Yeah, you I'm, gonna, spend charge how you I'm gonna spend a charge. Okay, Treat so this yourself. will be a trampling arrow. So, uh, anyway, let's just see if it hits first. Does it hit? It does hit. Yeah! Yo, right. with arrows you can hit. As the, as the arrow travels towards the cult fanatic, it turns into a fucking pegasus. So, uh, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he's gonna get horsed. <laughs> oh, shit! Wait, I was looking at the effect. Sorry, I was just uh, checking. Yeah, I apologize, I apologize. Okay. Um, so yes. 3d6 force damage, and must succeed a, mm -hmm. succeed a DC 16 strength throw. Okay, so here, here okay. comes the 3d6 force. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's a total yeah. of 18 damage. Nice. Okay. And he needs to make a strength saving throw? Yep. Uh, well, oh, he rolled well, a natural Wow. Thing. Okay, well, I guess he doesn't get knocked over. Cold just got sturdy legs. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. So everyone right. sees uh, Rhea step up, and she pulls out this magical longbow that she has. Uh, she knocks an arrow and fires it, and as it flies through the air, weaving between Metal Boy and, uh, and Volgor um, for its target. Uh, in mid-flight, it transforms into a Pegasus and then just <laughs> smashes into the cultist. And he, uh, and so, as the Pegasus disappears, he's staggered uh, and not quite sure what just hit him. Yeah. Rhea just fucking grins. She's just like, oh, I like this. Oh, no, Metal that's... Man! Finish the troll! <laughs> Here comes the slams. Oh, nice! Slams. 25 hits. Okay, here comes that. 
That's okay. only the first attack. That ain't bad. <laughs> uh, uh, he survives with one hit point. <gasps> no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I, I, I just want to roll damage to see how dead he is. Mm-hmm. Oh! <laughs> yeah, all right. On, on, on. Mm-hmm. Destroyed. All right. Does Metal Boy want to have any movement? Uh, yes, Metal Boy will just kind of, like, stimp stomp over here and just stand next to Cultist, like, hello. <laughs> go farther. You can go farther? Okay, you want him to go farther? Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll have him go further up to the cult fanatic, just like... He was right here. Let's just see how far he can go. 30 feet. Yeah, he's only got 30 feet of that's movement, so... Yeah, really, he, I think getting, right tying there. up these guys in melee is probably good. Right. Yeah, that's a good idea. He will be cultist bait. Okay. All right. That was a good turn. All right. Volgar's turn. He regenerates Dead. 10 hit points. Oh, what? fuck, Greg. This is a troll. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, he then spends half of his movement standing up. Um, You're not dead? Uh, so... It was a troll. <laughs> fuck. Okay, uh, unfortunately, let's see, he is, he is a very bad situation right now because his movement was halved from, uh... Standing up. From, from, and from being slowed. Oh, yeah! Uh, <laughs> so he's got, like, what, so five feet of he movement? He stands up, yeah, and he, step, he steps menacingly towards Rhea, uh, but that's as far as he can get. <laughs> um, Menacing woozy stacker. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my God. He will then. Uh, he has his action. Um, does he dash or does he die? Does he have a reach? He does not have a reach. Or, uh, oh. That was, uh, he he's he's too barbaric for. Uh, yeah. I guess he will. Um. I guess he will dash another fifteen feet. <laughs> Oh, be in melee with oh, our, with our boy. our love, lovely nobilitar. Oh boy! All right. <laughs> uh, so, Gabe, right. just for quick, it has been a hot minute since we played. I just want some clarification mm -hmm. for extra attack or uh, our extra attack such multi attack rules. Is it okay to attack once, then move, then do another attack, or is it all? One? Yes, you may split, move, and fire. That is. That is Just wanted to make sure because it's been a while since we played. Got it. So yeah, we're gonna hoof oh, this slow boy. We're gonna hoof him. Okay. Hoof. Hoof. That'll hoof. E6 plus 4. Good enough to be dead. Trampled. And trampling while trampling, both. we're gonna move 90 feet <laughs> to get right up to the cultist. <laughs> just, just imagine, like, you're this cultist trying to, like, sneak away all sneaky like, and then you just hear a fucking horse galloping aggressively behind you. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> like, you're like, That's stare. Like Straight out of he a probably horror thinks movie. it's another Pegasus coming to smash him. <laughs> yeah, like I yeah. imagine, like I imagine it's like the you stay right there, and it was like it's okay, I'll go there. <laughs> imagine that scene from Braveheart right. happening to you three times. And uh, or it's gonna be three D eight plus four. Mm -hmm. That is eighteen damage to this fanatic. Bubbles just run, rams that unicorn horn right through the cultist's heart. His sacrificial dagger drops from his hand as Bubbles throws his corpse off of off of their horn. Uh -huh. this, man, this man dies heart. like it's a Easter play, and they got to the crucifixion part. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they wanted a sloppy crucifixion. <laughs> wow. Uh. And uh, he is quite he is quite dead. Very deceased. All right. Very dead. Very deceased. Very deceased. All right. Cultist turn. All right. <laughs> uh, they, can, they can try. All right. 
right, this cultist. Uh, okay, he's no longer dodging. Uh, he is going to go after the very powerful wizard. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Went to the market. Uh, scimitar. Oh shit! That, okay, I'm pretty well, sure it's not been laughing yet, just yet. Okay, four, right. four, four. Uh, I, I Make think, a constitution I think I can saving four. throw. Oh shit! It's poisoned. Oh yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, no, uh, concentration. You're concentrating on. Oh, your con son's concentration. yeah, concent. Yeah, okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no! no! Metal boy. Met Metal boy disappears back to wherever you summon constructs from. Aww. Goes back to a workshop. <laughs> yeah, it, it just it just kind of crumbles. I think. Back to Sino, like obviously. Oh yeah, it's back to Sino. <laughs> Return to Pokeball. Yeah. Reggie, Reggie yes. Steel returns. Oh, well, actually, Malcor, wait, he's gonna sleep in Malcornet now. Actually, wait, the, the spellcasting component is like a lockbox, so it would just go back into the box. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> that's really- yeah, oh, okay. that's- that's canon. That's canon now. Alright, It's like right. on Reggie Pandora's box. Yes. <laughs> turns to his right. box, turns Pokeball. I love Reggie it. Steel returns. Alright, uh, these two cultists uh oh no this one doesn't have enough movement uh no. this one i guess is just gonna move and dodge again as he moves into melee this one's going to attempt to murder bublish no actually that's okay it's not it's not him <laughs> oh all right bublish takes six damage i mean he, he did like wow okay all right, and uh, these two boys up here are still restrained, and they have no targets, so they just uh, have to end their turn, and then they repeat their con saving throws. Um... What? Oh no! The second one is basically like doomed. Well, this other one's like brother. Oh. Brother, no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fight God. it, brother! <laughs> fight it! <laughs> fight it! <laughs> The nope. one on the top has two successes, the one on the bottom has two failures. You might well, be getting a gold statue can't, soon. I can't lose you like this. The one on the bottom? You never lost anything, brother. I'll always be there in hell when you come there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. That is the cultists. Alistair. Um, let's see. What, what can I do? What should I do? Maybe I should viciously mock this man. I mean, an attack an attack cantrip's always a good good standby. Yeah, it's a good standby. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much health. Uh, I don't know if I should go for one of the cultists or big boy. If you go for big, big boy, boy, I think I can kill him. him further because he's yeah, he's good to be. You've already you've already taken away his multi attack. If you if you hit him with the the vicious mockery, oh, right, his true, only yeah. attack will also be at disadvantage, and he'll just be very really sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would personally love to make him more sad. Um, All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to viciously mock him. <laughs> and be like, oh, what, you can't even multi-attack? What are you going to do, cry about it? A single the tear. Bulbar <laughs> begins to cry about it. <laughs> Roll <laughs> very <your> slowly. <laughs> Yes. Beautiful. Roll your twenty-four okay, psychic. Oh wow, that's a good. That's a good vicious. That's mock. a good. That's one. a good vicious mockery. Yeah. I like, I like to imagine. Uh, it's uh, it's not until like, uh, like right before Rhea's turn do we start seeing a tear form. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's slow. <laughs> My goodness. You just, you just Alice, see his lips start it? curling a little bit, and it's like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna cry about it. Well, that ends Alistair's turn. Yep. Okay. Rosie! I am checking something real quick. Alright, should I do a tactics check first? Cool, I'm gonna do a tactics check first. Okay. Go for it, Bethany. Who are you tacticsing? Uh, Troll Boy. Okay. I would like to know anything. You wanna know how his regeneration works? Yes. Alright. 
Uh, he's a standard. He's a standard troll. He just has. I thought standard. so. I just wanted uh, to also justify it in uh, mm -hmm. player. Uh, yeah. mindset, uh, so I... He, yeah. he has, he has ten, he has regeneration, it gives him ten hit points at the start of his turn. Uh, if he takes acid or fire damage, the straight doesn't function at the start of his next turn. He only dies if he starts his turn with zero hit points and doesn't regenerate. Mm-hmm. Cool. Good. Good thing I have, a item that, uh, does fire damage continuously. Uh, we're gonna cock, uh, wait... Gonna check something real quick with range. Do I have range of a crossbow on hand? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to double check because it is far. Gonna need to see if I'm gonna need to foot. dismount. Hmm? You've got 90 foot. The shot's 90 foot from where you are. Okay, and I just didn't forget because I thought I had that on hand. Light cross. Bow pipe. E, book is a good shot. So, E feet short. Fun. Oh, I can easily dismount half half movement, mm -hmm. go fifteen feet, take the shot. No problem. And bonus action, bonus action if you need it. Yeah, I, I don't even think I need a bonus action just to move fifteen feet to get into eighty-five foot range. No, no. Right? Yeah. No, this is this is fine. Yep. Hey, so before you do that, away. okay, hear me out real quick though for my mm -hmm. little plan that Willow's got. So I got intimidation plus five. Yeah. And this is a very bullied troll boy. We could probably use him to figure out traps around this place and help with the vampire baron. I was thinking maybe... I feel like, if anything, we could have gotten that from, like, cultist guy. Yeah. I, I think this guy's just going to keep regenerating, though. That's the thing. And I... As much as he's being very bullied... I don't think we could bully him that hard. Yeah, we have him. to continuously bully him. We can make him sign a contract. I mean, technically, Alistair. technically, I also have Charm Monster. Oh, that's. So I will point out. I will point out. If uh, he has regeneration, so you'd have to eat through all of his hit points again. If you're yeah, fight him it goes every ten, every six seconds, ten HP. So it's like, back. so it's like, can we get in, do our business, and get out before it wears off, and we have to fight him again, or are yeah. we just like a real boss, especially if we're going through like vampire bullshit? I don't really can, trust that. Can we be good guys and just like maybe release him in the forest after we're done with the Baron, though? Ah, no. Um, no. 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, go gonna, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell you right now that would not be a good thing to do. Volgor has been kept in the vampire's prison, disposing of bodies by eating them. He's uh, uh he'd be an invasive species to the environment that he that we release them into. <laughs> yeah, you, it's like, like anywhere, releasing a gold into you, a pond you that you don't want Immediately anymore. have a bunch of farmers disappear at a bounty on uh, trolls. <laughs> Okay. He has He's a taste for human evil. flesh already. We have to put him down for his own good. <laughs> pure evil will make a good pet. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to try and hit for the phosphorus bolt. Okay. No, you're not. I'm not. Natural one will we'll not do it. Dad. Oh, well. All right. Does that, that, that work? Really I still got 17 more. All right. Uh, Bublish. Um. Uh. All right. Bubbles is just gonna focus fire on the cultist who just stabbed him, because yep. uh, Bubbles doesn't like being stabbed. Yeah. Understandable. Uh. He's gonna use. He can't use the samurai twice. Stop rolling three. All right. There we go. Uh, let's start with the. <laughs> Let's start with the wounding ray because that may just uh, kill this boy outright. Yep. Uh, all right, he's still gonna take half damage on 3d10. So 3d10 divided by two, that will be six damage, which is not enough to kill a cultist. Sad oh. for Bublish. Um, and then the three was for a fear ray. 
Uh, which he will, he, she will make his save. Alright, that was bubblish. Willow. Okay, I don't really have anything that does fire, so I'm gonna go over here. And I'm going to cut up the top cultist. Okay, the top one did a dodge, which is what that's, I use that squiggly line to represent, so you will have disadvantage mm. if you attack the top one. Uh, okay, I'll take the attack the other one. Okay, attacking the wounded one. Oh, he's uh, gone. Yeah, 25 hits. Uh, bam. It's one dead, one dead cultist. All right. And let's see. I'll just I'll just take one more swipe of my scimitar just to long okay. shot. No. Uh, twelve hits actually. Oh. Yeah. Uh, these these guys are All just right. wearing like leather armor under their robes. They're 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 trash. Right, they're trash mobs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Willow just comes up, scimitar, scimitar, hacks down two cultists. Willow yawns. Mm hmm. Um. All right. Would you like to make any any move any additional movement? Uh, let's see. I guess I'll shift over here. Okay. And there we go. Doctor Corone. The soldiers Question. are reloading the cannon, but it's not ready yet. Question. Yeah. Is there any liquor on the table? Um. There are goblets of something that might be liquor. I'm gonna go over and check what it is. Okay. All right. Uh, wow. Roll a d. Roll a d twenty. Yes. This is. You have a goblet of liquor. Uh, of of strong liquor. What is your cool. intention with this? I'm gonna hold it in my mouth, raise mm -hmm. my lit lantern of the Lightbringer, oh, mm -hmm. and flamethrower the troll. Oh my god. Alright. Make a uh, roll dexterity uh, without proficiency. Just make a dex, is make a dex roll. Saving throw or? Nope. Uh, just ability check. Well, I mean, it's an attack roll, um, but yeah, just, just roll, just click dexterity. Roll dex. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh. This is a very simple trick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Does that yes, mean he lights on fire? <laughs> no, no. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the, the flames, um... Uh, the flames do not, uh, you, you miss as Volgar is, is moving about. Uh, you don't quite get a good stream. Uh, you splash him with some liquor that didn't catch, uh, but you are not, um, you do not flamethrower him. Tragic. Okay. Can I dump the rest of the liquor on him? Sure. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's got some liquor on him, but he is not, um, he's not inflamed. He has been All moistened. Right. Yes. Lady V. Yes. We are back to you. They are... No, I am These two cultists not gonna are lie. turning to stone. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, uh... This, I this fight is almost we, done, we and we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna call it, yeah, we're gonna call it after this fight, I think. Um, okay. But, uh... I'm like, yeah, so they punch. Even... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I feel bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. No, it's um, fine. Um, oh. yeah, These guys, are they, they're frozen still, or did they get out of it? Uh, they are still frozen, but the top one is probably going to probably going to recover so you may want yeah. to just put him down yeah okay yeah i think lady v will probably jump over the table and just try to take out those last two 
and so everybody just can worry about the troll. Will it still right. turn fully to gold if it's already dead? Um, not if he's dead, I don't think. Oh. Uh, okay. Will he die if he gets turned to gold? Well, I mean, uh, if, if, te technically, he'll only be petrified until the statue is destroyed. But they're planning yeah. on taking the gold off, so that will kill him. Yes. <laughs> Peeling his gold petrified skin off. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we keep great. it classy. They are pirates. We're, we're pirates. It's just what we do. <laughs> Alright, well, I try to knock out Can't help the guy that looks right. like he might not die in, unless yep. I hit him real hard. Yep, he is uh, He's out. Hell yeah. The cult, the cult is getting turned to, to gold. It's like, brother! Do you I know, what a way to go. Just slow yeah. turning gold and having a vampire stab you in the, in the upper chest as yeah. your lower body is being turned into metal. Yeah. Joining a cult would be fun, they said, two weeks later. I thought that I would make so many. They told me I'd have so many new friends. We were going to go to an eternal paradise in hell. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? Let it be. Oh. Uh, would you uh. like Would you like to hit the other one, or just gonna let him just look at him menacingly as he turns to gold? She yells over to the party. Hey, y'all trying to keep this gold, or uh, can I, can I kill uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> I would say just kill him. Us the like, richest we're not people in the get world. A lot of gold, and honestly, us the richest people in the world. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep like it. It's hard for us to come by. It's free gold. I want to um, keep it as a trinket. It's a lot of effort. She chokes him out, but doesn't kill him. Question oh! Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you can, if you not. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's unconscious. Um, he's unconscious, but we'll still make the checks to see if he turns all the way to gold. Yes. Again, I yes. love the imagery. I love the imagery of the one who's been failing and seeing like, do you lose? Do you give up on me, brother? <laughs> I'll see you in hell when we both make it. And then it's just boom. It's like, oh no. <laughs> it's so good. It's so dramatic. Right. It's perfect. All right. Rhea. So there's a, let's there's a see. cultist. There's a troll. Wait. There's a smell I, of booze. Yeah, if, there is. If I put my hands lovingly on your face, yes. do you want to do the Viv thing? <laughs> I want to do the Viv thing. Don't you have like <laughs> flame boots? Uh, not not flame boots. I no. think she. I think they're thinking of the stride spell you got. Yeah. Wait. Mm -hmm. uh, we could possibly but... take out both. Uh, flame stride time. Not... Here we go. All right. It I'm is just gonna go thing. for it's it. The it's the Vivian special. Fire! The Vivian, Vivian special, special. exactly. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna light myself on fire, basically. Uh, my hooves become a flimid, and uh, I get 20 extra speed. If I'm within five feet of a creature or object that isn't being worn or carried, it takes one d6 fire damage. And uh, yeah, so that means troll is burn, and so is this cultist. Mm -hmm. And that's well, a bonus I hope action. You didn't. Well, I hope you weren't planning on keeping this um, the, this red carpet because it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Be <laughs> Except I don't want uh, the gold is touched and moved from the table. So when Willow and Harris's place, they all know. Everybody who eats with Willow knows the craziness that she's capable of. This is. <laughs> all right. Or cult uh, is the table. Roll. Roll, uh, roll a d6 for the fire damage for, uh, Volgor, and then for the, uh, cultus. All right. All right. Volgor, uh, is flashed by the fire. He roars in pain and falls down. Uh, he will not regenerate from this damage. He is Yeah! Defeated. All right, and uh, then with the my, cultus my actual... Is slightly... Was yeah, that that's a bonus sinned? action. That was a bonus action, so I got an actual attack now. So I'm yeah. just going to swing right the hell around and uh, mm -hmm. just whap this dude with my fucking longsword. Oh Help! my! Help! Yes! Murder! I decapitate him. I think Violence. that's just decapitation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bloodshed. All right. All right. 
killing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you did. All right. Kill. Okay. With that, <laughs> you took a man's life. <laughs> Gotta go out with a bang, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. With that, the um. The throne room is quiet. You can still hear the sounds of battle raging in the distance. Victoria, you step up oh. and you say, you inform them. I, I'm sorry to put some words in your mouth, but. Trying, no, that's okay. It's okay. Wrap, wrap things up. Uh, yeah. You inform them. You've been here once before. You know where he's would where uh, Baron Zacharias would likely be hiding. There's oh. a secret room in his basement, and oh. Victor I will show you the way. Yeah, I've been here before, ah. guys. Yeah, I've been to a secret panic room before. It's yeah, kind I've been of to like... another universe inside his bedroom. It's not uh, sexual. Yeah, by all means, Wait, please maybe it is. the way directly to him. <laughs> yeah, well, let's. I'm. I'm just gonna hot foot it on over then. I, I, I is in his pleasure chamber and will cannot be disturbed. <laughs> I, 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 like, walk forwards, literally leaving little tracks of fire. Oh, shit. <laughs> there's, like, scorches and there's, like, scorch marks in the carpet. Yeah. Hello, players. Sorry. <laughs> this is going to be my castle. Why are you burning my rug? <laughs> Ray is just gonna well, it's hop all covered on over. in troll blood, so, you know. It's yeah, I think it's the carpet replaced anyway. anyway. You can get that present digitation out, you know? Hey, <laughs> out with the old and with the new, I'd say. I think we need to do redo this whole decorating. Oh, yeah. This like, this vibe. place. Like, Willow, Willow, what's your color scheme? Yeah, Willow, Willow what are your colors? Do you need any interior design help? Oh, my God. Oh, hey, Gaby. Zed, Zed, <laughs> yes. What's your question? Can I have the troll's head? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Where are you going to store this troll head that is are you likely going to be in your upper body? What are you going to do with it? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tie a rope around it and pass it to one of my cannon crew and say, "Bring You're it." You're gonna have it as ammo? No, oh. I'm just gonna. I'm keeping it no, to study the regenerative properties to... of trolls. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. And I'm also stacking up heads for a proposal. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Um, yeah I'm like, not just doing one because... head. Yeah, right, right. Because he's not like the troll head. head. He, he has no, to like the, all of the, the trophies of his, his conquests uh, to mm. his, uh, to the captain. So that she will you know, I mean, serial killers also keep trophies of their victims. Oh serial killers? How many people did, did Lady V slaughter this time? She's not like cutting off locks of hair from the cultist and putting it in her journal. You're taking Personally, a troll head she, and she, it The cultist you. didn't do anything to us first. Like, we were the right. they, 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 they did Joella. summon an Arrhenius and tell it to kill you, so... Yeah, Lux, we could have I'm, talked. Lux, I'm always a fan of shitting on Zed and, uh... Wow. And, I'm sorry, not Zed. Specifically wow. Dr. Kev's actions. Um... <laughs> But I feel like here it's like we're D and D characters. We are all mass murderers. Okay, no, it's not the murdering thing. I'm saying it's collecting the trinkets. That's the weird My part. My trinkets, they're trinket yeah, filled. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> You say that we also loot dead things and take a weird yeah, moment. Yeah, but like I see. That, okay, that, see, that I see the, all the habit. stairs. I see all the derisive stairs, and I go, huh. Apparently, none of you know how to woo a woman. <laughs> he said, not using this to woo a woman. <laughs> I'm using it. You know, the lady left. I mean, you clearly I mean, haven't no, been he, to the he's... basement of the maid cafe. <laughs> right. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> this is going to be the end of the session for, for this week. Uh, mm -hmm. Next time, uh, it, we will play again in two weeks, and we will descend into... The uh, the basement of Baron Zacharias, uh, and the final confrontation with the Vampire Lord. Awesome. Bring your floggers. Yeah. Uh, right. To bring your uh, floggers. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, Lady V, will you be able to join join us in that uh, next session in two weeks? 
Same I should time. be. Um, yeah. Wonderful. It's like a September like fifth, I think. Uh, let's see. So that no September fifth would be next week. This plays every other week, so it would be September twelfth. Yes. Well. Okay, I will have to mm-hmm. check, but probably. Awesome. Wonderful. Yeah. This was uh, fun. Y'all were a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you. You're yeah, also we great. Yeah, we having you. We kind of go wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like I, could, I could tell, like, this session was very much a, so this is the vibe, and I can't wait for when we are more likely in a situation where we could all just have our... Yeah, yeah. for mm-hmm. sure. And you'll get to see how I interact with Baron. Ooh, I'm, I'm yeah. so looking forward to kind of, because, like, I really like that Lady B is kind of, like, her own purpose. I mean, obviously, she has like some kind of vampire things going on, but like I'm yeah, we very found interested out. to see we what kind of found um, out what was going on. So it's like we could have known. It's like yeah, but uh, but like I but like it's going to be revealed. I want to know more of the drama, and I'm a big fan of the dramatic waiting. I'm a big fan of waiting <laughs> for the payoff. <laughs> I usually I am if I'm not out. scared of player killing. <laughs> I'm not scared of player killing unless if it's by yeah, a hot, see, that's, sexy that's vampire why woman. I was asking questions. <laughs> also, I like, talk with the captain. I'm like, hmm, your crewmates are way too trusting. Uh, but also, also it. to be fair, I don't think KB would allow a guest person to come on if the intention was to kill all of us without really? letting any he of killed us know. Quadlish. <laughs> I think you're killing <laughs> Quadlish. Oh Quadlish uh, no, Bubbler survived. <laughs> they KB? basically were. Katie, I mean, I I mean Katie he evolved that into much more <laughs> and was a very lovable mascot, but KB he was not created of unspeakable things in D&D. Maybe his player so. killed the whole party before by himself as a player. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I, well, I, 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 I so did. In a GURPS campaign, I did... Uh, Good night. Good night. Oh, uh, chat. <laughs> uh, Lady Victor's uh, uh, Twitter... Uh, at thing is above their picture there on the thing on, on yes. stream. Yes. Oh, yeah. So Please follow me on Twitter. Follow them follow on Twitter. Do that. So Thank go there, you. Follow <laughs> them on Twitter. See all the things they do. Um, I, I post things yeah. that you might enjoy. So. Oh, that I personally might enjoy? <laughs> I don't uh, know. It depends on Pam, no, team. I don't think that yeah. you will. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pam, I, I know you're, you... As I understand your tastes, uh, I don't think that it, it, it will appeal to you. But most other people here, I think it will. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. I post some pretty different who, stuff. Who, so. know, who knows? Who knows? Know. I, won't, I shouldn't speak for Pan. But, yes. Um, <laughs> thank you, KB. Thank you, guys. Uh, Maybe I'll see you all two weeks uh, Thank ago. you for sure. playing, and I'll talk, to you, I'll talk to you later this week. All right, yeah. Bye-bye. See you. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, oh, garlic so... clove at them next session. No. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Do you still have? Do you still have the garlic? I do. I do have some garlic cloves. Because you gave one. <laughs> you gave one of them to me. Yes, oh but I have, I have a few cloves of garlic. <laughs> you have. A, I'm glad to know that you have more more than enough, and you were willing to share with me. You know that really shows our bond. Do you want some Matt, soap too? I would Matt, love the... some soap personally. Imagine if the entire party gets down and it's just Seth with one hit point and the Baron with one hit point and Seth just crushes a build little bit of garlic and blows it in his face. Final <laughs> killing move. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, a uh, uh, shocking grasp him with garlic in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. You know, actually, the garlic thing's really just Dracula specific because he himself just actually has an, al- an allergy to garlic. One d ten Italy damage. When is when is Willow gonna become a goose? Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? What, what kind Willow's of question is that? Do you now remember the season, like the season yes. finale? Willow's oh, part goose yes. Now. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, right. I remember. I, I remember she, that. She sips the goth of the Gydra juice. Actually, mm-hmm. oh my God! Actually, hold on. I actually do have the path of the mon- monstrosity written out uh, because Naradov is. Ate a bunch of yetis. Um, hold on, a- and a and a displacer beast. Um, oh, just remind oh, remind me about this tomorrow, Neves, and we'll talk about the path of the monstrosity. Um, I want I... my goose wings. I want to honk fear into the wind. Uh, uh, all right. Well, to those who we can honk to the wind, I have some suggestions for you, KB. 
Yes. For raids. So I see two people I'm here. I'm thinking. I, yeah. I I, I see. Oh. Uh, Wankarella is streaming. Um, I'm not familiar and with that. Boingo Rider is streaming. Streaming. And I also Boingo know another Rider cool. Uh, VTuber I know is Yiggy Evergreen, who's doing some of the new Final Fantasy uh, 7 remake, and he also, he's only got like one humble viewer. You want to support right. that? Sure. Sure, we can send everyone on over to Yiggy. Uh, let me search for them. Uh, Yiggy Evergreen, Final Fantasy 7 yep. remake. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you all for um, uh, thank you all for watching past, present, and and, and future. Uh, oh my God, we're gonna head my on thing. over to uh, yeah. I'm stealing your I'm stealing your bit. Um, oh, dude, cool. And, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, thank you all. Uh, if you want to get caught up on any of the previous sessions that you have missed, uh, you can go do that over on KB's YouTube channel right over there, uh, where there are playlists for both this campaign and the campaign which plays on uh, alternate Mondays from this one, um, which is A Fox's Tale, The Wild Hunt, um, featuring uh, amazing VTuber personality Rumi Dory. Um, and my other friends. Uh, if you want to the support the channel, uh, you can. Uh, the best way to do that is to uh, make donations on Kofi. Although I am, of course, equally thankful for uh, subscriptions and bits and all those things here on Twitch as well. Uh, and if you are interested in playing in a game uh, with me offline, you may go and look at uh, startplaying.game slash GM slash KB there in chat. Uh, I am planning on starting a new Pokemon RPG uh, oh, campaign oh. very soon. Uh, if that interests you, just keep an eye on that page, and sometime in the next week or two, there should be that new game posted. Also, uh, Twitter. Follow me on Twitter to get notifications about that game on, and everything in general. I'll and give you about five, to leave just because four, of the great thing. Three, two, one. We're gone.